in a corner of the universe where starlight danced upon the void, the Galactic Council convened for an emergency session. Composed of representatives from the various intelligent species that inhabited the galaxy, the Council's primary objective was to maintain harmony among civilizations. But on this fateful day, a collective sense of dread permeated the chamber. The holographic representation of Earth flickered in the center, pulsating with a chaotic energy that made even the most seasoned Council members uneasy. Do we truly understand what we are dealing with? asked Zephyrin the blue-skinned representative from the aquatic planet of Nereid. His voice echoed across the chamber, a melodic blend of concern and frustration. These humans are unpredictable, their actions defy all logic. Setherin, a towering being of light from the gas giant of light, floated closer to the hologram. The disturbances we've detected are beyond mere unpredictability. They've triggered cosmic anomalies, rippling through the fabric of space-time. We are seeing fluctuations that have not occurred since the Great Collapse. A murmur of agreement rippled through the Council. Each member was acutely aware of the implications. If humanity continued its erratic behavior, the very stability of the galaxy could be threatened. The Council had been monitoring Earth for centuries, watching as humans advanced from simple tribal societies to technologically savvy beings capable of traversing the stars. Yet, with progress came unpredictability, and that unpredictability was now spiraling into chaos. We must intervene, proposed Trelin, a small but wise creature from the mineral-rich planet of Crystalia. His crystalline exterior sparkled in the ambient light of the chamber. If we do not guide them, they could unwittingly bring about a catastrophe that would affect us all. Their recent ventures into nuclear energy and space exploration are already causing tremors in the cosmic balance. I agree, said Valtrax, the fierce warrior from the planet Karak. His fiery red skin glowed with passion. But how? They are notoriously resistant to advice, viewing outsiders with skepticism and even hostility. The council members exchanged worried glances. A holographic timeline displayed a series of Earth's historical conflicts, showcasing a pattern of destructive behavior. From wars to environmental disasters, the humans' unpredictability had consistently brought them to the brink of self-destruction. Just then, a figure emerged from the shadows Alindra, the Council's esteemed diplomat and expert in interspecies relations. With a shimmering aura that reflected her wisdom, she spoke, what if we approach them with empathy rather than authority? We could present ourselves as allies, not as overseers. A cooperative approach might resonate better with them. But their history suggests otherwise, Zephyr encountered. They often fear what they do not understand. Our very presence could provoke them into further chaos. Alandra nodded thoughtfully. That may be true, but we cannot afford to underestimate their capacity for understanding. We could send a delegation, one that embodies the principles of unity and peace. Perhaps by sharing our experiences, we could inspire them to reflect on their actions. The Council deliberated for hours, weighing the risks and benefits of such a bold plan. Finally, after much discussion, a consensus emerged, a delegation would indeed be sent to Earth, but with careful preparation. They would adopt human forms, allowing for a smoother introduction into Earth's complex sociopolitical landscape. Days turned into weeks as the Council meticulously crafted their plan. They analyzed human culture, language, and societal structures to better prepare for their mission. Eventually, the time came for the delegation to embark on their journey to Earth. As their sleek, silver spacecraft descended through the atmosphere, the representatives marveled at the blue and green planet below. They landed in a secluded area of a forest, a sanctuary untouched by humanity's often reckless hand. Emerging from the ship, they took on human forms, their appearances meticulously crafted to blend in with the local populace. Alandra became a tall, elegant woman with a calm demeanor, while Trelin assumed the guise of a wise elder, and Valtrax appeared as a rugged adventurer. They initiated their mission in a nearby village, seeking to understand human behavior firsthand. Observing interactions between the villagers, they noted the wide spectrum of emotions joy, anger, fear, and hope often flickering across faces in a matter of seconds. 
Humans were a tapestry of unpredictability, woven with threads of passion and conflict. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the delegation entered a local tavern. The atmosphere was lively, filled with laughter and the clinking of glasses. Alindra approached a group engaged in a heated debate about the recent Global Climate Conference. Excuse me, she interjected gently. May I join your conversation? The group, momentarily taken aback by her presence, nodded. Sure, why not, one young man replied, his eyes sparkling with curiosity. As the conversation flowed, Alindra skillfully guided it toward the themes of cooperation and responsibility. Do you believe that your actions today can impact future generations? she asked, her voice soothing yet compelling. The group fell silent, contemplating her words. One woman, with fiery red hair, finally spoke. Of course they can, but it often feels like we're at odds with one another. People have differing opinions, and that makes it hard to unite on critical issues. And that's where the unpredictability lies, Trillin added, leaning in. When faced with challenges, unity can sometimes slip away. But what if, instead of allowing differences to divide you, you embrace them as strengths? The discussion deepened, exploring the themes of trust and understanding. They began to see the alien visitors not as outsiders, but as allies who cared about their world. As the days passed, the delegation moved from village to village, sharing stories, engaging in discussions, and planting seeds of reflection among the humans. They attended town hall meetings, listened to concerns, and even participated in local festivals, fully immersing themselves in the culture. But amidst these positive interactions, the Council was receiving alarming reports from their home planet. Cosmic anomalies were intensifying. Rifts in space-time were widening as humanity's unpredictability manifested in more destructive behaviors. The Council knew that time was running out. They needed to inspire real change among humans, and quickly. One evening, as the delegation gathered to strategize, a message arrived from the Council. The urgency in the transmission was palpable. You must accelerate your efforts. We have detected a massive surge in hostile intentions globally. If this escalates, it could lead to catastrophic consequences not only for Earth, but for the entire galaxy. The delegation felt a heavy weight on their shoulders. They had made progress, but was it enough? Would their message resonate in time? In a moment of desperation, Alindra proposed a bold idea. What if we hosted a gathering, a summit where people from various backgrounds can come together to discuss their differences, share ideas, and collaborate on solutions? We could facilitate a dialogue that encourages unity and foresight. The others agreed, fueled by a shared sense of purpose. They reached out to local leaders, scientists, and activists, emphasizing the importance of the gathering. To their surprise, the response was overwhelmingly positive. People were eager to engage in meaningful conversations about the future. The day of the summit arrived, and the atmosphere buzzed with anticipation. A large tent was set up in a clearing, adorned with symbols of unity from various cultures, as participants filed in, the delegation stood at the forefront, welcoming them warmly. The event commenced with a simple message, We are all interconnected. Alindra, standing before the diverse crowd, spoke passionately about the significance of collaboration in addressing shared challenges. Humanity has the power to shape its destiny. Your unpredictability can be transformed into creativity, innovation, and compassion. As discussions unfolded, the tension in the room began to melt away. People shared their experiences, revealing vulnerabilities and dreams. They brainstormed solutions to pressing issues climate change, social inequality, and technological advancements recognizing the importance of collective action. But as the conversations grew more profound, news of escalating conflicts around the globe reached the summit. Protests erupted in major cities, and debates turned into chaos. The council delegation sensed a turning point. They needed to act decisively. Alindra called for a moment of silence, urging everyone to reflect on the power of their choices. Each decision we make ripples through time. What legacy do you wish to leave for future generations? The attendees pondered her words, and slowly, an understanding began to blossom. 
they realize that their unpredictability, while often destructive, could also lead to profound change if channeled correctly. As the sun set, casting a golden hue over the gathering, the energy shifted from despair to hope. People began to forge connections, committing to collaborate and support one another. The summit became a catalyst for action, sparking initiatives that focused on unity and empathy. However, the Galactic Council watched from afar, still grappling with the reality of humanity's unpredictable nature. As they monitored the situation, it became clear that while progress had been made, the journey ahead would be long and fraught with challenges. The Council knew they could not control the chaos of human emotions, but perhaps they could offer guidance. As they prepared to return home, they carried with them a glimmer of hope. Humanity, with all its unpredictability, was capable of extraordinary change if they embraced their shared responsibility. And so, with hearts full of determination, the Galactic Council decided to remain vigilant, ready to intervene when necessary, while also respecting the autonomy of the unpredictable beings they had come to admire. As the sun rose over the forest clearing, the delegates from the Galactic Council awoke to a new sense of purpose. The summit had ignited a spark among the human attendees, and the ripple effects of their gathering were beginning to spread. Yet, the Council knew that one successful event would not suffice. The true challenge lay in sustaining momentum and ensuring that the seeds of change they had planted would take root. In the days that followed, the delegation remained in the village, eager to monitor developments and offer support. Local leaders had begun forming committees, focusing on various initiatives inspired by the summit. They aimed to address pressing issues environmental degradation, social inequality, and even the growing hostility between different factions of society. But the council members were keenly aware of the underlying tension still brewing beneath the surface. One evening, Alindra gathered the delegation to discuss their next steps. While we've witnessed a remarkable shift in attitudes, we must recognize the complexities of human nature. There are still divisions, and old grievances may resurface if not addressed. Trellin nodded his crystalline form shimmering in the candlelight. Perhaps we could organize workshops to foster dialogue between opposing groups. A space for honest conversation might help dismantle some of these barriers. Valtrax, leaning against a wall, crossed his arms in thought. But we must be cautious. There are factions that thrive on chaos, who may see our intervention as an opportunity to incite further division. Exactly, Alindra replied. We need to approach this delicately, presenting ourselves as facilitators rather than outsiders imposing solutions. Our goal is to empower them to find common ground on their own terms. The next morning, the delegation set out to connect with the newly formed committees. They visited various neighborhoods, listening to the concerns of residents and learning about the issues affecting their lives. The villagers were receptive, eager to share their thoughts and engage in discussions. In one community, Alindra met with a group of environmental activists who had recently mobilized to combat deforestation in the area. We're fighting against corporate interests that prioritize profit over the well-being of our planet, a young woman named Lena explained, her voice filled with passion. But it's hard to convince people when they feel powerless against such large forces. Alindra listened intently, her heart swelling with empathy. What if we connected your cause with other social movements? The struggle for environmental justice often intersects with issues of equality and economic stability. Together, your voices could create a stronger impact. Lena's eyes widened in realization. You're right. If we can unite our efforts with labor groups and those advocating for social justice, we might actually be able to shift the narrative. Encouraged, the delegation returned to the summit's spirit of collaboration, organizing a series of workshops designed to foster intergroup dialogue. They encouraged participants to share their stories, helping them to see the interconnectedness of their struggles. The council members facilitated discussions on conflict resolution, emphasizing the power of empathy in understanding differing perspectives. However, as the weeks passed, the complexities of human behavior became increasingly apparent. Despite the initial enthusiasm, old tensions began to re-emerge. Some groups resisted collaboration, 
viewing it as a dilution of their own causes. Misinformation spread rapidly, exacerbated by social media platforms that thrived on sensationalism. One evening, as the delegation prepared for another workshop, an urgent message arrived from the Council. Cosmic anomalies had intensified, and disturbances in space-time were occurring more frequently. It was a stark reminder of the stakes at hand. They could not afford to let chaos fester on Earth, or the repercussions could spiral out of control. The atmosphere in the village grew tense. Reports of protests against the Council's presence circulated, fueled by individuals who framed the aliens as an existential threat. They're here to take over, one inflammatory post claimed, rallying anti-alien sentiment among those who felt disenfranchised by their own government. Alindra sensed the urgency. We need to address this misinformation directly, she urged the delegation. We cannot allow fear to cloud the progress we've made. Valtrax, typically brash and outspoken, surprised them with his quiet resolve. Let's hold a town hall meeting. We can address the concerns head-on, provide transparency about our intentions, and invite open dialogue. If we can confront the fears of the people directly, we might quell the rising tension. The idea resonated with the council members, and they quickly set to work organizing the town hall. Flyers were distributed throughout the village, inviting everyone to come and share their thoughts, questions, and fears. On the day of the town hall, the atmosphere was electric, a blend of hope and trepidation. Villagers packed the community center, filling every seat as well as standing room. As Alandra stepped to the front, she could feel the weight of their gazes, some curious, some skeptical. Thank you for gathering here today, she began, her voice steady but warm. We understand there are concerns regarding our presence on your planet. We want to assure you that we are not here to impose ourselves or control your destiny. Our goal is to help you navigate the challenges you face, as we too have learned from our experiences. A man in the back shouted, But how can we trust you? You're not from here. You don't understand our struggles. Alindra nodded, acknowledging the sentiment. You're right. We may not share the same experiences, but we come from a place of empathy and understanding. We have witnessed how division can lead to catastrophe. We don't want that for you or for our galaxy. We're here to listen, learn, and support you in your efforts. As the meeting progressed, participants voiced their fears, concerns, and hopes. Some expressed gratitude for the Council's presence, while others remained staunchly opposed, insisting that humans should solve their problems without outside interference. Valtrax spoke up, his voice resonating with authority. We may be from another galaxy, but we care deeply about the future of this planet. We've seen what happens when societies fracture. We're here to help, not to take over. We want to see humanity thrive. Yet, despite their efforts, the division within the community was palpable. Some members continued to spread fear and misinformation, creating factions that pitted neighbor against neighbor. The council could feel the tension intensifying, like a storm brewing on the horizon. Days turned into weeks as the delegation worked tirelessly to mediate and mend the fractures within the community. They organized community events festivals celebrating diversity, art exhibitions that showcased the beauty of collaboration, and outdoor workshops where people could come together in a relaxed environment. Alindra spearheaded an initiative called Voices of Unity, inviting individuals from various backgrounds to share their stories and experiences. The response was overwhelming, with people signing up to participate, eager to connect with one another. At one such event, the atmosphere was charged with anticipation. The crowd gathered around a makeshift stage, where community members shared their journeys, struggles, and triumphs. Alandra watched as stories of resilience and hope unfolded before her eyes. Each narrative was a reminder of the shared humanity that transcended differences. One elderly man stepped forward, his voice trembling as he spoke about his experiences during a past conflict. I lost my home and my family, he shared, tears glistening in his eyes. But in that loss, I found a sense of community. We must work together, not against one another, if we want to build a better future. His words resonated deeply, drawing applause from the audience. As more voices joined in, 
the sense of unity began to solidify. For the first time in weeks, the council members felt a glimmer of hope. Maybe, just maybe, they could guide humanity toward a path of understanding. However, even amidst the rising spirit of collaboration, tensions simmered just below the surface. A group of individuals who felt marginalized by the emerging unity movement began organizing protests against the council, claiming that they were erasing human experiences. As protests erupted in nearby towns, the Galactic Council grew increasingly concerned. They had entered a precarious phase where the potential for chaos loomed large. News of these protests began to reach the Council's home planet, further amplifying the urgency of the situation. Alindra and her team decided it was time for a direct approach. They planned a counter-event, a community gathering that would emphasize inclusion and highlight the importance of collaboration. They invited everyone, including the dissenting groups, to participate and share their perspectives. The day of the counter-event arrived, and the atmosphere was tense. The Council set up a series of panels and workshops, each focused on different themes trust-building, conflict resolution, and the importance of diversity in community. As the gathering commenced, Alindra took to the stage once again. Today, we are here not to impose our beliefs, but to create a space where all voices are heard. We acknowledge that there are different perspectives and we want to engage in constructive dialogue. The event attracted a mixed crowd. Supporters of the council mingled with skeptics, and as discussions began, it quickly became clear that the divisions were far from healed. Some participants voiced their frustrations openly, while others attempted to steer the conversation toward understanding. One young activist, who had initially protested against the council, stood up. We appreciate your efforts, but it feels like you are sidelining our experiences. We want to be part of the conversation, not just spectators in our own story. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting an orange glow across the gathering, the air thickened with tension. The atmosphere was charged, as participants oscillated between hope and skepticism. Alindra's words echoed in the silence. We want to include everyone in this dialogue, not only to hear your voices, but to truly understand your experiences. Yet, as she spoke, the dissenting factions became increasingly vocal. A young man with bright green hair stood up, his face flushed with passion. Understanding isn't enough. We need action. You come here with your ideas and your alien perspectives. But what about the realities we face every day? We're the ones living this, not you. The tension rippled through the crowd. While some nodded in agreement with the young man, others shifted uneasily in their seats. Alindra recognized the crucial turning point the gathering had reached. Your frustrations are valid, she said, her voice steady. We acknowledge that you bear the weight of these issues, and our intent is not to diminish that. But we can only act together. Let's explore how we can unite our voices to create meaningful change. But before she could elaborate, a group of protesters burst into the space, chanting slogans that echoed through the gathering. Humans first, no alien interference. Their presence injected an explosive energy into the room, drawing sharp gasps from attendees. Alindra stepped back, her heart racing. Valtrax moved to her side, his imposing figure radiating a quiet strength. We need to handle this carefully, he whispered. They're feeding off the fear and mistrust. The atmosphere shifted as some attendees began to chant alongside the protesters, while others attempted to engage in dialogue. It was a chaotic cacophony of voices, each representing a different facet of humanity's unpredictability. In the midst of the turmoil, a familiar face emerged from the crowd. Lena, the environmental activist, stepped forward. Please, listen, she shouted raising her hands to calm the crowd. We're all here because we care about our future. We can't let division tear us apart. We have to find common ground. Slowly, her words began to penetrate the chaos. The crowd quieted, and Alindra seized the moment. Lena is right. We cannot let fear and anger dictate our actions. This is our opportunity to connect, to share our experiences and work toward solutions together. If we allow ourselves to be divided, we will only deepen the crises we face. 
As the tension began to dissipate, Alindra invited participants to form small groups for focused discussions. They could choose topics relevant to their struggles, environmental issues, social justice, economic inequality, and brainstorm potential solutions collaboratively. The attendees began to disperse into small groups, finding commonality in their diverse experiences. Alindra and Valtrax moved among them, listening intently to the conversations unfolding. They witnessed passionate debates intermingled with moments of vulnerability as individuals shared their stories and fears. In one circle, a group of young people discussed the climate crisis, fueled by a collective sense of urgency. If we don't act now, our planet will suffer irreparable damage, one young woman exclaimed, her voice tremulous with emotion. But we can't do it alone, another added. We need to work together, not just locally, but globally. This isn't just a problem for our village, it's a universal issue. As the group brainstormed solutions, they began to connect their environmental concerns with the economic struggles facing the community. What if we initiated a local cooperative? We could create jobs while also focusing on sustainability, suggested a young man with an infectious enthusiasm. Meanwhile, Alindra overheard a different discussion nearby where individuals debated the role of technology in society. We have to be cautious with tech companies. They don't always have our best interests at heart, a woman argued. But technology can also be a powerful tool for good, another participant countered. We can use it to spread awareness, connect with others, and drive change. Alindra smiled as she observed these dialogues. The discussions were raw and unfiltered showcasing the complexity of human experience. It was a testament to their unpredictability, sometimes chaotic, but often beautiful in its authenticity. After an hour of focused discussions, the groups reconvened to share their findings. The energy in the room shifted from uncertainty to determination. Participants articulated their ideas with clarity and passion, fueled by a newfound sense of unity. One participant from the climate-focused group stood up. We propose to create an eco-cooperative that not only promotes sustainability, but also provides job training for those affected by job loss in traditional industries. We want to ensure that everyone can be part of this change. Applause erupted, filling the room with encouragement. Another group followed suit, presenting their idea of a community forum dedicated to discussing technology's role in society, ensuring transparency and ethical practices. As the meeting continued, the tone shifted from one of fear and skepticism to a collective sense of responsibility. It was clear that the seeds of change were taking root, and hope blossomed in the hearts of those present. Yet, even as enthusiasm surged, Alindra remained aware of the looming challenges. The protests outside the gathering were not dissipating. In fact, they were intensifying. It was evident that not everyone was convinced of the Council's goodwill. After the gathering concluded, Alindra gathered the delegation. While we've made significant progress today, we cannot ignore the dissenting voices outside. We need to address their concerns, or this could devolve into chaos once again. Valtrax crossed his arms, frustration evident on his face. It's infuriating. We're doing everything we can, yet some still see us as a threat. How do we bridge this divide? Trellin? Ever the wise mediator suggested, we must engage with them directly, host a forum that includes both supporters and dissenters. If we can create an environment where everyone feels heard, perhaps we can alleviate some of their fears. Alindra nodded, recognizing the wisdom in Trellin's words. Let's do it. We'll create a space for open dialogue where we can address concerns transparently. It's essential that we demonstrate our commitment to collaboration. They set to work, organizing a new forum to take place in the community center the following week. They promoted the event as an opportunity for all voices to be heard and invited the dissenting factions to participate. The day of the forum arrived, and the atmosphere was tense yet hopeful. Participants from various factions filled the community center, their expressions a mix of skepticism and curiosity. Alindra stood at the front, alongside Valtrax and Trellin, ready to facilitate the discussions. Thank you all for being here, Alindra began. 
Today, we aim to create a space where everyone can voice their concerns and perspectives. We believe that through dialogue, we can address misunderstandings and work toward common goals. A murmur ran through the crowd. Some nodded in agreement, while others shifted uncomfortably. Alandra continued, This is an opportunity for us to listen to one another, to empathize with our differing experiences, and to find pathways toward unity. The first speaker was a local leader from the protest group. We appreciate this opportunity, but we still feel that your presence undermines our autonomy. We're struggling with our own issues, and it feels as if you're trying to overshadow our voices. Alindra responded earnestly, We understand your concerns. Our goal is not to overshadow, but to support. We want to empower your voices and amplify your efforts. Please share with us how we can do that effectively. The dialogue unfolded, each speaker contributing to a complex tapestry of opinions. Some individuals expressed their fears of outside influence, while others emphasized the importance of collaboration in tackling pressing issues. As discussions progressed, tensions began to simmer. A young woman from the protest group interjected, but what about the sacrifices we've made? Our struggles are real, and we cannot just accept outside help without questioning motives. Valtrax leaned forward, his voice resonating with sincerity. We don't expect blind acceptance. We are here to earn your trust, and we acknowledge that trust is earned through action, not words. We want to work alongside you, not in place of you. The atmosphere began to shift. Slowly, participants started to recognize the Council's commitment to understanding their struggles. The dialogue took on a more collaborative tone as attendees began brainstorming solutions together. A man from the crowd stood up, his voice strong yet vulnerable. I lost my job due to automation, and I'm terrified of the future. But if we can work together to create new opportunities, perhaps we can all thrive. Let's focus on that. Cheers erupted from various corners of the room. The sense of unity was palpable as more participants shared their ideas weaving together a vision for a collaborative future. As the forum continued, the Council's delegation began to feel the energy shift toward a collective commitment to change. The discussions were raw and unfiltered, revealing the complexities of human emotion and experience. Yet, beneath this budding unity, a subtle undercurrent of distrust lingered. While some embraced the Council's intentions, others remained skeptical, unwilling to let go of their fears. After the forum concluded, Alandra gathered the delegation for a debriefing. We made significant progress today, but we must remain vigilant. The divisions are deep-rooted, and trust will take time to build. Trellin nodded thoughtfully. Perhaps we could follow up with smaller community meetings, where we can address specific issues. The week following the forum was a whirlwind of activity. The atmosphere in the village felt different. The tension had eased but remnants of skepticism lingered. Alindra and her team worked tirelessly to organize smaller community meetings, aiming to delve deeper into the issues that resonated most with the villagers. Each gathering was designed to foster open dialogue and create actionable plans. Yet, as they launched into this next phase, the Council faced unexpected challenges. Tensions were rising not just among the humans, but also within the ranks of the Galactic Council itself. Some factions within the Council questioned the wisdom of engaging so deeply with a species as unpredictable as humanity. During a meeting back on the Council's home planet, a heated debate erupted. We cannot afford to be distracted by their emotional volatility, a delegate named Orvan argued, his voice sharp. They are a primitive species, and our focus should be on cosmic stability, not emotional appeasement. Alindra responded with fervor. They may appear volatile, but their unpredictability is a strength. Their capacity for empathy and creativity can lead to innovations we cannot even begin to fathom. We must invest in these relationships if we hope to secure lasting peace. But what if their chaos spirals out of control, Orvan pressed? Their history is filled with violence and conflict. Are we prepared for the consequences? We cannot turn our backs on them, Alindra insisted. By engaging with them, we not only help them, but also protect our galaxy from the ripples of their discord. 
Ignoring them is a risk we cannot afford. The debate raged on, but Alandra felt a growing sense of urgency. With each passing day, the situation on Earth became increasingly precarious. Reports of violence and unrest filtered in, fueled by the growing divide between those who embraced the Council's presence and those who vehemently opposed it. Back on Earth, the smaller community meetings began with cautious optimism. Alandra and her team arrived in the village square, where a group of about 30 people had gathered. Among them were supporters of the Council, skeptical activists, and individuals who had remained silent during the larger forum. As Alandra opened the meeting, she felt the weight of expectation. Thank you all for coming. Today, we're here to listen and to work together. We want to understand the challenges you face and how we can support your efforts. A woman in the crowd, her brow furrowed with concern, spoke up. How can we trust you? What assurances do we have that your presence won't lead to more problems for us? Trust is built over time, Alandra replied earnestly. We're here to listen, learn, and adapt to your needs. Your concerns are valid, and we want to ensure that we're acting in your best interests. Despite her reassuring words, murmurs of skepticism rippled through the crowd. One man raised his hand. We've seen too many promises broken. What if this is just another ploy to control us? Alandra took a deep breath feeling the sting of their distrust. I understand your fears. Many of us have experienced betrayal, whether in personal relationships or on a societal level. Our goal is not to control, but to collaborate. We want to help you find solutions to the problems you face. The conversation flowed from topic to topic, revealing the complexities of human experience. Some spoke passionately about economic struggles, while others voiced concerns about environmental degradation. As the discussions unfolded, Alandra sensed that while the attendees were willing to engage, the underlying skepticism remained palpable. At one point, a member of the crowd brought up a recent protest against the Council. We're being told that your technology could solve our problems, but we don't want to become dependent on it. What happens when you leave? Alandra nodded understanding the deep-seated fears surrounding dependency. We're not here to create reliance. Instead, we want to empower you with the tools and knowledge to solve your own problems. We envision a partnership, not a hierarchy. As the meeting progressed, she began to notice a familiar face in the crowd Lena, the environmental activist. Lena had been an advocate for collaboration, yet her expression now mirrored uncertainty. After the meeting concluded, Alandra approached Lena. You've been a strong voice for unity. How are you feeling about today's discussions? Lena sighed, her brow furrowed. I want to believe in this partnership, but the more I hear from those who oppose you, the more I question our direction. There's so much fear, and I can't help but wonder if we're walking into a trap. Alandra felt a pang of sympathy. I understand your fears. It's natural to question the unknown. But I assure you, our intentions are genuine. We want to help your community thrive. Lena nodded slowly. I appreciate that, but you have to understand that not everyone sees it that way. The protests are growing louder, and some people are feeling emboldened by their anger. They think they can drive you away. I'm not here to create enemies, Alandra replied. I want to find common ground. Perhaps we can organize a forum specifically for these dissenting voices. We need to hear their concerns directly and address them. Lena considered this for a moment. That could work. If we can show that we're willing to listen, it might help ease some of the tension. But you need to be prepared for strong emotions. I'll take whatever steps are necessary, Alandra affirmed. This is about building trust and understanding. As plans for the next forum were set in motion, the Council's situation back home grew increasingly dire. Reports of civil unrest filtered in, accompanied by news of escalating protests and violent clashes between supporters and dissenters. The Galactic Council found itself at a crossroads, caught between the desire to aid humanity and the fears of its own members. Perhaps we should consider withdrawing, Orvan suggested during another intense meeting. Their unpredictability could have catastrophic consequences for our galaxy. Alandra's heart sank at the thought. 
If we withdraw now, we risk creating a power vacuum. The chaos on Earth could spiral beyond our control, leading to outcomes far worse than we can imagine. Do you truly believe they can be salvaged or van challenged? Every day brings new evidence of their unpredictability. Alindra's resolve hardened. I believe in their potential. I've seen glimpses of their capacity for empathy, innovation, and resilience. They may be unpredictable, but that unpredictability can lead to positive change if guided correctly. The council debated fiercely, but Alindra remained steadfast. The stakes were too high. She couldn't allow fear to dictate their actions. They needed to double down on their commitment to humanity. The day of the forum with dissenting voices arrived, and Alindra felt a mix of anticipation and dread. As she entered the community center, she was met with a palpable energy equal parts hope and hostility. The room was filled with individuals ready to voice their grievances. Alindra stood at the front, flanked by Lena and Valtrax. Thank you all for coming today. We recognize the concerns that have been voiced in the community, and we want to create a safe space for everyone to share their perspectives. A man in the front row shot up his hand, his voice piercing through the air. You say you want to listen, but how can we trust you? Your kind arrived here without our consent, and now we're supposed to believe you have our best interests at heart. Alindra felt the weight of his accusation. I understand that our presence feels intrusive, and I take full responsibility for that. We've come to learn and support, not to impose. Today is about hearing your concerns directly. Another woman interjected, her tone sharp. You talk about support, but what does that even mean? What are you really offering? We need concrete answers, not vague promises. Valtrax stepped forward, his voice steady. We are here to offer resources, knowledge, and a partnership. We want to work alongside you in addressing the challenges you face. We recognize the urgency of your concerns and want to help empower your community. The dialogue continued, with emotions running high. Individuals voiced their fears, their anger, and their hopes. Alindra and Valtrax listened intently, determined to create a bridge of understanding. As the discussions progressed, however, the mood began to shift. Tensions escalated, with accusations flying back and forth. Some individuals were clearly fed up with what they perceived as alien interference, while others pleaded for collaboration. In the chaos, Alindra caught sight of Lena, who stood to speak. We're here because we want a better future, for ourselves and for our planet. But this can't happen if we continue to fight amongst ourselves. We have to focus on our shared goals. A few voices echoed in agreement, but the dissenting crowd remained divided. Alindra realized that while she had hoped to foster unity, the fractures within the community were deeper than she had anticipated. As the forum continued, it reached a boiling point. A particularly vocal protester, emboldened by the crowd's energy, shouted, You think you can come here and tell us how to live? We don't need your help. We can handle our own problems. Alindra felt the weight of the hostility in the room. We are not here to tell you how to live. We want to be partners in addressing your struggles. The atmosphere in the community center crackled with tension. Alindra sensed that they were at a critical juncture. The growing anger in the room could either lead to a breakthrough or spiral into chaos. Voices clashed like thunder, drowning out the attempts at dialogue. Why should we trust you? Another voice rang out, tinged with bitterness. Your kind comes to us with all these promises, but we've seen how those promises play out. What guarantees do we have that this won't end in betrayal? Alindra felt her heart race. I know words can feel hollow, especially when there's a history of broken trust. But we're here to listen and adapt to your needs. This isn't about us imposing our will. It's about building a partnership based on mutual respect. The room erupted again, this time a chorus of frustration and distrust. Partnership. You think we want to partner with aliens? We're trying to survive here, not be your guinea pigs. Just then, Lena stood up again her voice breaking through the noise. Please, this is exactly why we're here to find solutions, not to further divide ourselves. Can we at least try to listen to each other? Her plea brought a moment of silence, 
and Alandra seized the opportunity. Let's take a step back. I understand this feels like an invasion to some of you, and I respect that. But let's discuss specific issues. What do you need? What are your most pressing concerns? A man in the back raised his hand. We need jobs. Our economy is crumbling, and we can't survive on hope alone. What can you offer in terms of economic stability? Valtrax responded. We have technologies that could help create sustainable industries and job opportunities, but these require your input and collaboration. We cannot impose solutions. We need your expertise on your own needs. Another participant interjected, We've heard about your technologies, but we're concerned about their long-term impacts. What happens to our way of life? We don't want to become dependent on something we don't understand. Alandra nodded, acknowledging the validity of their concerns. That's a fair point. We can't expect you to embrace technology without understanding it. We are committed to ensuring that any solutions are tailored to your context and that you have control over the processes. The crowd seemed to waver between curiosity and skepticism. Alandra pressed on. If we can work together to identify what you value most jobs, education, sustainability, then we can create a plan that addresses those priorities without compromising your autonomy. After much back and forth, a tentative agreement emerged. Participants began to suggest topics for future discussions. A man named Richard, known for his community organizing, proposed a series of workshops to educate villagers about the Council's technology and how they could implement it in a way that respects their traditions. Let's start with the basics, Richard suggested. If we understand your technology, maybe we can find ways to adapt it to our needs without losing our identity. Alandra felt a surge of hope. That's an excellent idea. Education is key to understanding and adaptation. We will support these workshops and ensure they are led by local facilitators who can bridge the gap between our technology and your practices. As the meeting drew to a close, a sense of cautious optimism began to fill the room. While deep-seated fears still simmered beneath the surface, a framework for collaboration had been established. Participants began discussing logistics and potential dates for the workshops. Yet, as Alandra left the community center, her heart was heavy. The challenges ahead were formidable, and she couldn't shake the feeling that not everyone was on board with this new direction. The voices of dissent echoed in her mind, and she understood that mistrust was a formidable barrier. The next few weeks were a whirlwind of activity. Workshops began, led by a mix of council representatives and local facilitators. Initially, attendance was modest, but word of mouth spread, and soon the gatherings swelled with interest. Alandra felt a sense of purpose as she witnessed the community engaging with the council's technologies. People were brainstorming creative applications, adapting ideas to fit their own cultural context. It was a delicate dance of collaboration. Yet, even as excitement grew, Alandra was acutely aware of the dissenting factions simmering in the background. Reports of protest increased, and the sentiment against the Council's presence showed no signs of abating. One afternoon, while preparing for the upcoming workshop, Alandra received an urgent message from Valtrax. We have a situation, he said, his voice grave. There's been an escalation among the dissenters. They've organized a large protest, and it's threatening to turn violent. Alandra's stomach dropped. What do we know? There are rumors of a confrontation at the workshop tonight. Some protesters plan to disrupt the event, and tensions are rising. They want to send a message. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Alandra sprang into action. We need to go there and ensure the safety of everyone involved. We can't allow this to escalate into violence. As the evening approached, Alandra and Valtrax arrived at the community center. The atmosphere outside was charged. A sizable crowd had gathered, some holding signs denouncing the council, while others appeared to be there to support the collaboration. Alandra could feel her heart pounding as she stepped out of the vehicle. She scanned the crowd, searching for any signs of trouble. Valtrax stood beside her, a protective presence, yet she could see the concern etched on his face. As they approached the entrance, a group of protesters surged forward, 
shouting slogans against the Council's involvement. Go home, aliens, we don't need your help. Alindra raised her hands, attempting to calm the crowd. We're here to listen, let's talk about our differences. But the crowd grew louder, drowning out her words. You're not welcome here, this is our home. As tensions escalated, a few individuals from the opposing group began to push their way through the crowd. Alindra could see that this was spiraling out of control. Valtrax, we need to create a space for dialogue, she urged. Let's set up a designated area where people can voice their concerns. Valtrax nodded, moving swiftly to help establish a buffer zone between the protesters and the community center. But as they did, the situation escalated further. Shouting erupted, and a scuffle broke out near the front of the protest. Alindra felt panic rising within her. We can't let this turn violent, she dashed forward, her heart racing, while Valtrax followed closely behind. Alindra reached the front of the crowd, desperately trying to be heard above the chaos. Everyone, please, this isn't the way. We're here to have a conversation. But the noise was deafening and the frustration palpable. Suddenly, a woman with a megaphone stepped forward, her voice piercing through the clamor. You've taken enough from us. We're done with your interference. Alindra stepped closer, her heart pounding. We're not here to take anything. We want to listen and work together. We can't do that if you don't give us a chance. The crowd began to waver, the noise softening as Alindra's plea resonated. Yet, just as hope began to flicker, a small group at the back of the crowd surged forward, shoving past those who were trying to maintain order. Alindra's breath caught in her throat as she realized they were armed. Valtrax, we need to protect the civilians. Stay behind me, Valtrax ordered positioning himself between Alindra and the escalating chaos. Alindra felt a surge of adrenaline as the situation reached a critical point. Everyone, listen, we can resolve this peacefully. Violence is not the answer. But her words were drowned out by a cacophony of shouting. The armed group pushed their way to the front, waving their weapons and threatening anyone who dared to intervene. Step back, this is our message, one man shouted his voice dripping with anger. Alindra's heart raced as she glanced at the faces in the crowd fear, anger, and uncertainty. She knew she had to act. With a deep breath, she stepped forward, her voice firm but calm. We are not your enemies. We want to work with you to help address your concerns. But violence will only lead to more suffering. For a brief moment, silence enveloped the crowd as they processed her words. Alindra seized the opportunity. If we can have an open dialogue, we can work through our differences. I promise to listen. The armed group hesitated, their resolve wavering. Alindra could see the tension in their body language shift as doubt crept into their expressions. Put down your weapons, she urged, locking eyes with the leader of the group. Let's talk about what's really bothering you. I'm here to listen. Slowly, the leader of the armed group lowered his weapon, the tension in his shoulders easing. You think we can just talk our problems away, he sneered, but there was uncertainty in his voice. I believe we can start to heal by talking, Alindra replied, her voice steady. But we can't do it if you're holding on. As the leader of the armed group lowered his weapon, a hush fell over the crowd. Alindra felt a mixture of relief and lingering anxiety. This moment was fragile, and she knew it would take more than words to bridge the chasm of distrust that had formed. Let's take a step back, Alindra urged, gesturing for everyone to move away from the immediate tension. We can talk without threats hanging over our heads. This is about understanding, not fighting. The leader, a man named Jackson, stepped forward, his brow furrowed. You say you want to understand, but how can we trust you? Your kind just showed up out of nowhere, and now you want to dictate how we live." Alindra nodded, acknowledging his anger. I understand your frustration. Our arrival was unexpected and, for many, unwelcome. But I want to emphasize that we're not here to dictate anything. We want to be partners. Jackson crossed his arms, skepticism written all over his face. Partners? 
Your idea of partnership doesn't seem to include asking for our permission first. The crowd murmured in agreement, and Alandra felt the tension mounting again. You're right. We could have approached you differently. I wish we had. But the past is behind us. What matters now is how we move forward together. As the atmosphere in the crowd shifted, Lena stepped forward, her voice steady and clear. This is exactly what we've been talking about. If we can communicate openly, we can find a way to navigate these challenges together. Easier said than done, Jackson replied, still unconvinced. What happens when we disagree? Will you just force your way in? No, Alandra interjected firmly. We can create a framework for decision-making that respects your input. Let's develop a council together humans and council members alike to address our shared concerns. We want to facilitate, not dominate. A glimmer of interest sparked in the crowd, and Alandra seized the moment. What if we hold regular meetings where everyone can voice their concerns and collaborate on solutions? We can rotate leadership roles to ensure all voices are heard. Jackson looked thoughtful, and Alandra pressed on. Imagine a space where we can brainstorm solutions together addressing your needs while integrating what we can offer. It doesn't have to be a top-down approach. This can be a partnership built on mutual respect. Gradually, the crowd began to nod. Alandra could see that the seeds of trust were starting to sprout, albeit slowly. Okay, Jackson said, his tone less aggressive. If we're going to try this, we need a commitment from you. We want transparency, no hidden agendas. Absolutely, Alandra affirmed, relief flooding her. Transparency is essential. We'll share everything we're doing and planning. This isn't about secrecy, it's about collaboration. As the protest began to dissipate, Alandra felt a wave of exhaustion wash over her. The situation had been tenuous, but they had made a breakthrough. She turned to Valtrax, who had been monitoring the crowd, and offered a small smile. We managed to prevent a disaster, she said, though her heart was still racing. Valtrax nodded, his expression serious. But the road ahead remains fraught with challenges. We must remain vigilant and proactive in our engagement. Alindra agreed. The trust we've built is fragile. We need to capitalize on this momentum. We should organize the first council meeting as soon as possible. That night, after returning to their temporary quarters, Alandra found herself unable to sleep. Thoughts raced through her mind, reflecting on the day's events and the challenges still ahead. She pulled out her communicator and sent a message to Lena, inviting her to meet the next day to discuss the logistics of the proposed council. Days later, the community center was filled with a mix of supporters and skeptics, all eager to participate in the first council meeting. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation, and Alandra felt a knot in her stomach. This was a pivotal moment for both the council and the community. As people settled into their seats, Alandra stood at the front, flanked by Lena and Valtrax. Thank you all for being here today. This is our first official council meeting, and I want to emphasize that this is a space for open dialogue. We're here to listen and collaborate. Jackson was present a wary look still etched on his face. Let's get one thing straight. This isn't just a talking shop. We want real results. Understood, Alandra replied, her tone earnest. We want to create actionable plans. Let's begin by identifying the most pressing issues you'd like to address. As people began to voice their concerns, a pattern emerged. Economic stability, environmental sustainability, and education were at the forefront of their discussions. Alandra took careful notes, ensuring that every concern was acknowledged. We need job creation, Richard said, his voice passionate. Our communities are struggling, and many of us are facing unemployment. Valtrax nodded. We have resources and technologies that can help create sustainable job opportunities. We want to work with you to adapt these solutions to fit your needs. And what about training? A woman named Maya interjected. We need to ensure that our people are equipped to use any new technologies. We don't want to be left behind. Absolutely, Alandra responded, her mind racing with possibilities. 
Training programs can be part of our collaborative effort. We can work together to design workshops that empower your community. As the meeting continued, however, Alindra sensed underlying tensions. While many attendees were eager to engage, others remained skeptical. A man named Tom, known for his vocal opposition, raised his hand. You keep talking about collaboration, but what happens when we disagree? Will you respect our decisions? Alindra took a deep breath. We will respect your decisions, but it's essential that we find a way to navigate disagreements. This council is about compromise and finding common ground. Tom scoffed. Compromise sounds nice, but you're still the ones with the power. You have the technology, and we're at your mercy. Jackson added, that's what we're worried about. We don't want to be dependent on your technologies or your decisions. We recognize that concern, Alindra replied. That's why we're here to ensure that this partnership is balanced and fair. We want to empower your community to make decisions that reflect your values and needs. The discussions grew heated, with various opinions surfacing. Some members of the community expressed enthusiasm for the Council's technologies while others raised concerns about the potential risks. As the meeting progressed, Alindra felt a renewed sense of purpose. They were making progress, even if it felt like two steps forward and one step back. Each voice mattered, and they were slowly building a framework for collaboration. As the meeting drew to a close, Alindra decided it was time to present a concrete proposal. I suggest we form working groups focused on specific issues such as job creation, environmental sustainability, and education. Each group can consist of both council members and community representatives. This way, we can start to develop actionable plans that incorporate everyone's input. Richard nodded enthusiastically. I'm in. We need to tackle the job crisis head-on. Others began to voice their support, and Alindra felt a wave of hope wash over her. Let's also set up regular meetings, perhaps bi-weekly, so we can track our progress and make adjustments as necessary. Tom remained skeptical, but said, If you can demonstrate that you're genuinely invested in our community's well-being, then maybe we can begin to build trust. Then let's make that our goal, Alindra replied. Her resolve strengthened. We're committed to working alongside you, and we want to prove that we can be allies in this endeavor. As the meeting concluded, people began to disperse, a sense of cautious optimism hanging in the air. Alindra exchanged glances with Valtrax and Lena, both of whom looked relieved. It's a start, Lena said, her eyes sparkling with determination. But we need to remain vigilant. Trust is built through consistent actions. Valtrax nodded, his demeanor serious. We must follow through on our commitments. This is only the beginning. In the weeks that followed, the working groups formed, and the atmosphere in the village began to shift. The council representatives attended the meetings, offering resources and expertise, while community members shared their knowledge and ideas. As Alindra observed the dynamics at play, she was struck by the power of collaboration. Slowly but surely, the community was becoming more engaged, and a sense of shared purpose began to take root. Yet, even as progress was made, challenges loomed on the horizon. Reports of dissenting groups grew more frequent, and the tension between those who supported the council and those who opposed it remained palpable. Alindra knew they had to navigate these waters carefully. One evening, while reviewing the progress reports from the working groups, Alindra received a message from Valtrax. We need to meet. There are developments we cannot ignore. Alarmed, Alindra met him in a secluded area outside the community center. What's happening? Valtrax looked grave. The dissenters are planning a large protest. They believe we've become too embedded in your community and are calling for our expulsion. Alindra felt her heart drop as Valtrax delivered the news. The progress they had made in recent weeks could easily unravel if the dissenters gained traction. When is this protest scheduled, she asked, her voice steady despite the surge of anxiety within. Tomorrow evening, Valtrax replied, his eyes narrowing. They've gathered supporters from surrounding areas, and there's a risk of violence if they feel threatened. 
Alindra took a deep breath, her mind racing. We can't let this escalate. We need to engage with the community find out what's driving this dissent. Valtrax nodded. We must act quickly. I suggest we hold a town hall meeting tonight to address the concerns of both supporters and dissenters. Open dialogue is crucial. As they discussed their plan, Lena joined them, her expression serious. What if the dissenters don't want to engage? They might be too far gone. Alindra felt a twinge of frustration but pushed it aside. We can't assume they won't listen. If we don't try, we're giving them the power to dictate the narrative. We have to show them that we're here to support the community, not control it. Okay, Lena said, determination shining in her eyes. Let's prepare for this town hall. We need to set a tone of unity and understanding. As dusk fell, the community center filled with a palpable tension. Alindra stood at the front, flanked by Valtrax and Lena, while murmurs swept through the crowd. The mix of supporters and dissenters was evident, and she could sense the divide. Thank you all for coming tonight, Alindra began, her voice resonating through the room. We are facing challenges, and it's crucial that we come together to discuss our concerns openly. A wave of murmurs rippled through the crowd, and a woman named Maria, a prominent supporter of the council, spoke up. We need to stand firm. The council is here to help us build a better future. But before she could continue, Tom interjected from the back, his tone sharp. What future are you talking about? One where we lose our identity and autonomy? This is exactly what we're afraid of. Alindra raised her hands, trying to quell the rising tension. I understand that many of you have concerns about losing your way of life, but we're not here to impose anything. We want to work alongside you to find solutions that benefit everyone. Jackson, standing beside Tom, added, You say that, but we need proof. You have the technology, the resources. How do we know we won't end up dependent on you? Trust takes time, Alindra replied. We've only just begun to build this relationship. Let's discuss how we can address these concerns together. As discussions unfolded, it became clear that the dissenters felt increasingly marginalized. They voiced worries about job loss, cultural erosion, and the potential negative impact of the Council's technologies. The energy in the room shifted from hopeful to combative, and Alindra could feel the weight of their fears. Let's establish a working group to specifically address these concerns, she proposed hoping to redirect the conversation toward solutions. We can bring together voices from both sides to ensure everyone's input is heard. But how can we trust you'll listen? Tom challenged, his expression defiant. You've already made decisions without our input. We can't change the past, but we can change the future, Lena interjected. Let's focus on what we can do now. We're asking for your participation. Alindra watched as a few people in the crowd began to nod, the seeds of compromise taking root. Let's set a timeline for these discussions. We can start meeting weekly to address concerns and develop plans. Just as a tentative agreement seemed within reach, a loud crash echoed from outside. The crowd tensed, and Alindra's stomach twisted with fear. She rushed to the window and saw a group of dissenters throwing rocks at the community center. Stay calm, Valtrax shouted, his voice steady as he moved to the front. We need to keep the peace. Everyone, stay inside. The noise outside grew louder, shouts and chaos filling the air. Alindra felt the fear radiating from the crowd, and she knew they had to act quickly. We can't let this escalate into violence, she urged. A woman in the crowd shouted, They're attacking us. They want to chase us out. Let's not give them that power, Alindra pleaded, her voice rising above the chaos. We're here for dialogue, not confrontation. We must show them that we're united. A few voices joined her, echoing the call for unity. We're stronger together, someone shouted, and others began to murmur in agreement. Taking a deep breath, Alindra stepped outside, heart pounding. Listen, she shouted to the dissenters gathered in front of the community center. We're not your enemies. We want to talk, to understand what's driving this anger. 
the leader of the dissenters, a tall man named Derek, stepped forward, a fierce look in his eyes. You think we're just going to stand back and let you take over? We're not afraid of you. I'm not asking you to be afraid, Allendra replied, her voice steady. I'm asking you to consider the possibility of collaboration. We can address your concerns together. You talk a good game, Derek retorted. But you don't know what it's like to struggle like we do. You come here with your fancy technologies while we're just trying to survive. Then let us work together to find solutions, Alindra implored, her heart racing. We want to help you find ways to thrive without losing your identity. But we can't do that if we're fighting against each other. As the dissenters continued to shout, Alindra felt the tide beginning to shift. Some community members had stepped outside, joining her in the attempt to calm the situation. Richard, who had been one of the staunch supporters of the council, raised his hands. This isn't the way. We need to focus on building bridges, not walls. Gradually, some of the dissenters began to lower their voices. Derek looked uncertain, his stance wavering as he surveyed the crowd. Alindra seized the moment. Let's set up a meeting right here, right now. A chance for everyone to voice their concerns. We can find common ground if we're willing to listen. Are you serious? Derek challenged, crossing his arms. You think we're just going to sit down and chat? I do, Alindra replied, her voice firm. I believe in the power of dialogue. If we can find a way to communicate, maybe we can address the root of this anger together. A murmur of agreement rippled through the crowd, and Alindra felt a flicker of hope. Let's come together. We can share our fears, our hopes, and find a way forward that honors all of us. Derek looked around, uncertainty etched on his face. Fine, he said reluctantly, but if this doesn't work, we're not backing down. Then let's make it work, Alindra said, her heart pounding with determination. As the crowd began to settle, Alindra guided them back into the community center. The atmosphere was still charged, but there was a sense of possibility in the air. They had taken a step toward dialogue, and she felt that the worst might be behind them. Let's break into small groups, Alindra suggested encouraging participants to share their thoughts and feelings in a more intimate setting. This way, everyone can have a chance to speak. As people began to gather in smaller circles, Alindra took a moment to breathe. She felt the weight of the past weeks pressing down on her. Building trust was not just about dialogue, it was about action and follow-through. They had to demonstrate that they could listen and adapt. Valtrax joined her, his expression serious. You did well out there, but we must remain vigilant. The dissenters may not be swayed easily. I know, Alindra replied, her brow furrowed. But if we can engage them in honest conversations, there's a chance we can bridge the divide. We have to be consistent in our efforts. Agreed. But we also need to keep an eye on any external influences. Some factions may seek to exploit this situation for their gain, Valtrax warned. As the groups began their discussions, Alindra walked around, listening intently to the conversations. People were opening up about their fears, their dreams, and the struggles they faced daily. There was anger, yes, but there was also a yearning for connection, a desire to be heard. After an hour of small group discussions, the larger meeting reconvened. Alindra stood at the front, energized by the exchange of ideas and emotions, Thank you all for your honesty and willingness to engage. It's clear that there are deep-rooted concerns that we must address collectively. Richard spoke up first. We're scared of losing our jobs, our culture, and our way of life. But I think many of us also see the potential for growth if we collaborate. Jackson added, If we're going to move forward, we need specific commitments. We can't. Alindra stood at the front of the community center, the atmosphere charged with a mixture of apprehension and anticipation. The recent chaos had opened wounds, and she knew it would take more than words to heal them. Thank you for your honesty and willingness to engage, she began, her voice steady. It's clear that many of you have deep-rooted concerns about the future. Richard, his brow furrowed, spoke up first. We're scared of losing our jobs, our culture, and our way of life. 
but I think many of us also see the potential for growth if we collaborate. Exactly, Alandra replied, grateful for his forthrightness. Collaboration is key. We need to establish clear commitments from both sides, something concrete that shows we are dedicated to this partnership. A low murmur swept through the crowd. Tom interjected. What kind of commitments are you talking about? You say collaboration, but we need to see actions, not just promises. Alindra nodded, recognizing the skepticism in his voice. We can outline a framework for our collaboration. Let's start with job creation. We can commit to establishing a joint working group focused on developing sustainable employment opportunities that utilize both your skills and our technologies. Jackson crossed his arms. And what if we don't want to use your technologies? What if we want to find our own solutions? Then let's explore that together, Alindra responded, her tone firm yet inviting. This isn't about imposing our ways. It's about integrating what works for both of us. If there are methods you prefer, we can help facilitate their growth. Okay, Derek said, still skeptical, but less combative. But we need a timeline. If we're going to invest our trust in you, we need to see progress. Alindra felt a surge of hope. I propose we set milestones for the next three months. Let's establish specific goals for job creation, community training programs, and cultural preservation initiatives. We'll report back regularly on our progress. Tom leaned forward, clearly interested. And what about community engagement? How will you ensure our voices are included in these decisions? Excellent point, Alindra replied. We'll create an open forum for all community members to provide input. Each working group will include representatives from both sides, ensuring that every voice is heard in the decision-making process. With a tentative agreement in place, the crowd began to relax. People started to share their ideas, brainstorming solutions and voicing concerns. It was a pivotal moment one that marked the beginning of a new chapter in their relationship. As discussions continued, Alindra felt a renewed sense of purpose. She glanced at Lena, who was actively engaging with a group of community members, listening intently and taking notes. Valtrax stood nearby, monitoring the interactions, his expression a mix of hope and caution. After the meeting, Alindra gathered her team to discuss next steps. We need to hit the ground running, she said, her eyes bright with determination. Let's outline our objectives and start forming the working groups immediately. Valtrax nodded. I'll coordinate with our resources to ensure we're prepared to assist in job creation and training initiatives. But we must remain vigilant. There are factions outside of this community who may not support our efforts. Lena chimed in. I'll reach out to community members who showed interest during the meeting. We need enthusiastic volunteers to help lead these working groups. As they began to lay out their plans, Alindra couldn't shake the feeling that this was a turning point. They had weathered the storm, and if they played their cards right, they could turn conflict into collaboration. Over the next few weeks, the working groups formed quickly, each focusing on different areas of concern. Alindra immersed herself in the process, attending every meeting and facilitating discussions. The energy in the community was palpable, a sense of purpose weaving through each interaction. In one meeting, the job creation group brainstormed innovative solutions. We should leverage our agricultural technology to help local farmers increase their yields, one member suggested. It's a win-win better crops for them and potential jobs for us. Another member chimed in, and we can also explore ecotourism. The natural beauty of this place is stunning. If we create visitor experiences, we can generate income while preserving the environment. Alindra was impressed by the creativity and passion on display. These are fantastic ideas. Let's develop a proposal we can present to the wider community to garner support. As they worked through the details, Alindra noticed Richard's enthusiasm. This is exactly what we needed, he said, a broad smile on his face. We're finally feeling like we're part of the solution instead of just reacting to problems. Exactly, Alindra replied, feeling a sense of satisfaction. This is a partnership. Your voices are essential to shaping our future together. 
Meanwhile, the Cultural Preservation Group met separately, focusing on ways to honor and integrate the community's heritage. Tom had taken a leadership role in this group, and Alindra was keen to see how he would approach the challenge. During one meeting, he laid out his vision. We can host a series of festivals that celebrate our traditions, blending them with the Council's technologies. Let's create events that showcase our culture and foster unity. Alindra leaned in, intrigued. That's a brilliant idea. Festivals can create a sense of pride and community, drawing in both locals and visitors. How can we incorporate the Council's resources to enhance these experiences? Tom considered this for a moment. We could set up interactive exhibits that demonstrate our history and how it connects to the technologies you bring. It's about showing that we're not just passive recipients, but active participants in this evolution. Alindra felt a thrill of excitement. Let's work on a proposal for our first festival. If we can get community buy-in, it will help solidify our partnership. As the weeks passed, the festival planning began to take shape. Alindra watched as people from both sides collaborated, sharing ideas and resources. The atmosphere in the community shifted from suspicion to a burgeoning sense of unity. Yet, amidst the blossoming collaboration, dissent still lurked in the shadows. Alindra could sense it in the whispers and furtive glances of certain community members. They were working hard to build bridges, but not everyone was on board with this new direction. One evening, as she wrapped up her day at the community center, Valtrax approached her, concern etched on his face. Alindra, we've received reports that some factions are organizing against us. They're spreading misinformation about our intentions. Alindra's heart sank. What kind of misinformation? Claims that we're planning to exploit their resources and undermine their culture. They're trying to rally support among those who are still wary of our presence, Valtrax explained. Alindra clenched her fists, frustration boiling inside her. We need to counter these narratives. We've made significant progress, but if we don't address these fears directly, we could lose everything. Valtrax nodded. We should hold another town hall meeting, but this time it needs to be focused on transparency. Let's share our plans and invite questions, even criticisms. We have to show that we're open to scrutiny. Agreed, Alindra replied, determination in her voice. We need to confront these fears head on. Let's plan the meeting for next week. As the date of the town hall approached, Alindra felt a mix of anticipation and dread. They had made significant strides, but the shadow of dissent loomed large. On the day of the meeting, the community center was filled with an array of faces, some eager, some anxious. Alindra stood at the front, flanked by Lena and Valtrax. Thank you all for coming, she began. Today, we want to address the concerns that have been circulating in our community. We're here to provide clarity and foster open dialogue. Tom stood up, his expression earnest. Many of us have seen the impact of this collaboration, but some are still worried about what it means for our future. We want to hear how you plan to ensure our voices are valued in this process. Your voices are invaluable, Alindra replied, her heart pounding. Our goal is to work alongside you. We want to create a framework that empowers this community to make decisions about its future. But what about the rumors? A woman named Clara called out. People are saying you're here to take over, to exploit our resources. Alindra took a deep breath. I understand your concerns, and I want to assure you that our intentions are rooted in collaboration, not exploitation. We are committed to transparency and will share our plans and decisions openly. Derek chimed in, his tone skeptical. Words are easy. What proof do we have that you're not just here to extract resources and leave? That's a fair question, Alindra acknowledged. We propose a community oversight committee that includes members from both sides. This committee will have access to all our plans and will hold us accountable. The room buzzed with murmurs, and Alindra could feel the weight of the moment. This is not just about technology or resources. It's about building a future together, one where your voices guide the decisions that affect your lives. 
The atmosphere in the community center was charged with anticipation as Alindra stood before the gathered crowd. She could feel the weight of their collective anxiety and hope, each person a thread in the fabric of a fragile partnership. It was crucial to navigate this moment carefully. Thank you for coming tonight, she began, her voice steady. We're here to address the concerns that have been circulating in our community and to clarify our intentions. Your voices matter in this process, and we want to ensure that everyone feels heard. The crowd murmured in response, and Alindra noticed Tom sitting in the front row, his expression one of cautious curiosity. Many of us have seen the impact of this collaboration, but some are still worried about what it means for our future, he said, standing up to speak. We want to hear how you plan to ensure our voices are valued. Your voices are invaluable, Alindra replied, feeling a surge of determination. Our goal is to work alongside you. We want to create a framework that empowers this community to make decisions about its future. A woman from the back of the room, Clara, raised her hand. But what about the rumors? People are saying you're here to take over, to exploit our resources. I understand your concerns, Alindra responded, her heart pounding. I want to assure you that our intentions are rooted in collaboration, not exploitation. We are committed to transparency and will share our plans and decisions openly. Derek, a leader among the dissenters, interjected. Words are easy. What proof do we have that you're not just here to extract resources and leave? Alindra took a deep breath, knowing this was a pivotal moment. I propose a community oversight committee that includes members from both sides. This committee will have access to all our plans and will hold us accountable. The room buzzed with murmurs, and Alindra could feel the tension begin to ease slightly. This is not just about technology or resources. It's about building a future together, one where your voices guide the decisions that affect your lives. The discussions continued and Alindra watched as the crowd began to engage more actively. People shared their fears, hopes, and suggestions for how the collaboration could move forward. The atmosphere transformed from skepticism to a willingness to explore possibilities. Tom raised his hand again. If we're going to have a committee, we need to set clear goals. What will we be working towards, and how will we measure success? Great point, Alindra replied. Let's establish specific objectives for the first six months. For instance, we can focus on creating sustainable job opportunities, developing training programs, and organizing community events that celebrate your culture. Richard chimed in, and what about regular updates? We need to ensure that everyone is informed about our progress. Absolutely, Alindra agreed. We can hold bi-weekly meetings where both sides report on their progress and address any concerns that arise. Transparency will be key to building trust. As the discussion unfolded, Alindra felt a sense of hope blossoming within her. People were beginning to see the potential for collaboration, and she sensed that the groundwork was being laid for a stronger partnership. With the community's support, plans for the first festival began to take shape. The organizing committee, comprised of members from both the council and the local community, met regularly to discuss ideas and logistics. Excitement permeated the air as the date approached. Let's focus on showcasing the best of both worlds, Tom suggested during one planning session. We can have local artisans display their crafts, along with demonstrations of council technologies that complement our traditions. Alindra nodded enthusiastically. And let's incorporate workshops where people can learn new skills, whether it's traditional crafts or how to use the council's technologies effectively. This will foster engagement and a sense of ownership. As the ideas flowed, Lena took on the role of coordinating outreach efforts. We need to make sure everyone in the community feels included and excited about this festival. Let's create posters, flyers, and social media campaigns to spread the word. The group worked tirelessly, fueled by a sense of purpose and camaraderie. They met with local businesses, organized volunteers, and reached out to community members who had expressed interest in participating. It was a whirlwind of activity, and Alindra reveled in the collaboration. The day of the festival arrived, 
and the community center was transformed into a vibrant celebration of culture and innovation. Colorful banners adorned the walls, and stalls were filled with handmade crafts, delicious food, and interactive exhibits showcasing the council's technologies. Alindra stood at the entrance, greeting attendees as they arrived. She could feel the energy in the air, a mixture of excitement and curiosity. The festival was a testament to their hard work and the unity they had begun to forge. As the opening ceremony commenced, Alindra took to the stage. Welcome, everyone. Today is a celebration of our community, our culture, and our shared future. Let's take this opportunity to learn from one another and grow together. The crowd erupted in applause, and Alindra felt a swell of pride. This was a moment she had dreamed of a moment where divisions were set aside in favor of collaboration. Throughout the day, workshops were held, showcasing everything from traditional crafts to modern technologies. People mingled, shared stories, and engaged in conversations that bridged the gap between their worlds. Alindra watched as Tom demonstrated a traditional weaving technique to a group of eager learners, while Valtrax engaged with a group of children, showing them how to operate a small, solar-powered device. It was a beautiful melding of knowledge and culture. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the festival, Alindra felt a sense of accomplishment. But even amidst the celebration, she couldn't shake the feeling that challenges lay ahead. That evening, as the festivities wound down, a group of dissenters gathered at the edge of the community center, their expressions wary. Alindra approached them, her heart racing. Is everything okay? she asked, sensing their unease. Derek stepped forward, his voice measured. We appreciate the festival, but we still have concerns. Some people are skeptical about how much control we truly have over this partnership. I understand, Alindra replied earnestly. It's important that you voice those concerns. This is a collaborative effort, and we want to make sure everyone feels included in the decision-making process. Then let's establish more frequent check-ins, Clara suggested. If we can meet regularly to discuss progress and address concerns, it might alleviate some of the tension. Alindra nodded, grateful for their input. That's a great idea. We can set up monthly meetings to review our progress and discuss any challenges. Your insights are vital to ensuring this partnership succeeds. As the festival concluded, Alindra felt a renewed sense of purpose. They had taken significant steps toward building a bridge between their worlds, but she knew that the journey was far from over. Trust would take time, and they would need to remain vigilant in their efforts to communicate and engage. In the weeks that followed, the monthly check-ins became a cornerstone of their collaboration. Community members felt empowered to voice their concerns, and the council members committed to actively listening and addressing those issues. The framework they had built was beginning to take root. One afternoon, during a particularly lively check-in, Richard stood up to share an idea. What if we created a mentorship program? It could pair experienced members of the community with those interested in learning about the Council's technologies, fostering deeper connections. Alindra's eyes lit up. That's an excellent suggestion. It will not only promote skill development, but also strengthen relationships between us. As the discussions continued, Alindra felt a sense of optimism wash over her. They were learning from one another building a partnership that honored their respective strengths and aspirations. One evening, Alindra found herself reflecting on the journey they had undertaken. The road to collaboration had been fraught with challenges, misunderstandings, and moments of doubt. Yet, they had persevered, finding common ground amidst the chaos. She stood on the balcony of the community center, looking out at the stars twinkling in the night sky. Each star felt like a reminder of the vast universe beyond a universe that had brought them together for a purpose greater than themselves. Hey, Lena said, joining her on the balcony. Lost in thought. Alindra smiled softly. Just reflecting on how far we've come, it feels like we're finally on the right path. Lena leaned against the railing, her expression contemplative. I agree, but we need to remain vigilant. The dissenters may have quieted for now, but that doesn't mean their concerns are gone. We have to keep engaging with them. 
You're right, Alandra replied, a sense of resolve swelling within her. We can't take their trust for granted. We must continue to build relationships, to listen, and to adapt. As they discussed their next steps, Alandra felt a renewed sense of purpose. But just as she began to formulate plans, an urgent message arrived from Valtrax. He had called for an emergency meeting, and her heart raced as she wondered what new challenge awaited them. Gathering her thoughts, Alandra rushed to the meeting room, where Valtrax and several council members were already assembled. The atmosphere was tense, and she could sense the urgency in the air. Alandra stepped into the meeting room, the weight of the world pressing down on her shoulders. Valtrax stood at the head of the table, his expression grave, flanked by other council members who shared a look of concern. The urgency in the room was palpable. What's happened? Alandra asked, her voice steady despite the anxiety brewing within her. Valtrax took a deep breath, his gaze focused. We've received reports of increased unrest among certain factions within the human community. Some individuals are rallying against the Council, claiming that our technologies are a threat to their way of life. Alandra felt a knot form in her stomach. How widespread is this unrest? Are we looking at a potential crisis? It's hard to gauge, Valtrax admitted. However, we've seen a marked increase in negative sentiment on social media, and there have been instances of vandalism at Council-sponsored events. Alandra's mind raced. We need to address this immediately. If we don't act swiftly, we risk losing the progress we've made. Lena, who had just entered the room, added, We should hold another community meeting. We need to hear from the dissenters directly and address their fears head on. Ignoring them won't make the problem go away. Alandra nodded in agreement. Yes, we need to create a space where those concerns can be voiced openly. It's vital to show that we're listening and willing to engage in dialogue. The next few days were a whirlwind of preparation. The council and community leaders worked tirelessly to organize a town hall meeting that would allow everyone to express their concerns. Flyers were distributed and social media campaigns were launched to encourage attendance. As the date of the meeting approached, Alandra felt a mixture of anticipation and dread. They had worked so hard to build trust, and now that foundation felt precarious. On the day of the meeting, the community center was filled to capacity. Faces reflected a spectrum of emotions, curiosity, anger, hope, and skepticism. Alandra stood at the front, her heart racing as she took in the crowd. Thank you all for being here, she began, her voice steady. Today, we're here to listen to your concerns, to understand what you're feeling, and to work together to find solutions. Derek, standing near the front, wasted no time. We're tired of feeling like our voices don't matter. Many of us are worried that the Council is more interested in our resources than in our community. I hear you, Alandra replied, her tone earnest. It's crucial for us to understand the depth of your concerns. We want to create a partnership but we can't do that without open dialogue. As the meeting progressed, several community members took turns expressing their fears. Clara spoke passionately about the potential loss of cultural identity. We're afraid that our traditions will be overshadowed by your technologies. It feels like we're losing control of our narrative. Alandra nodded, taking in her words. It's vital to preserve your culture, and I promise that we will do everything we can to support that. Let's talk about how we can integrate your traditions with our resources instead of replacing them. Tom raised his hand next, his voice firm. There's a sentiment growing that the Council is here to exploit our land and resources. What assurances can you give us that this isn't the case? Alandra felt the weight of his question. We understand that trust needs to be earned, not given. We propose establishing an independent oversight committee composed of community members, to monitor our activities and ensure transparency. Derek interjected again, that sounds good in theory, but how can we be sure this committee will have real power? Alandra met his gaze, determined. This committee will have access to all proposals and budgets related to our projects in your community. They will be involved in decision-making processes, 
and we will ensure that their recommendations are taken seriously. As the crowd reacted, Alindra could feel the tension shifting. People were listening, considering her words. It was a small victory, but a victory nonetheless. Just then, a voice called out from the back. What about the recent vandalism? Some people are expressing their discontent in destructive ways. What will you do about that? Alindra's heart sank. I want to address that. Violence and vandalism are never the answer. We must find ways to express our disagreements without resorting to destruction. We are committed to working with law enforcement and community leaders to ensure that everyone feels safe and respected. A murmur of agreement rippled through the crowd, and Alindra seized the opportunity. Let's also use this as a chance to educate each other. We can host workshops on conflict resolution and open dialogue, teaching skills that will empower us to discuss our differences constructively. As the meeting continued, a spirit of collaboration began to emerge. People who had previously felt isolated started sharing their thoughts on how to foster better understanding between the two cultures. Richard stood up, suggesting, what if we organized regular community events that feature both human traditions and council technologies? It could help us learn from one another. Excellent idea, Alindra replied, her excitement palpable. Cultural exchange is crucial. We can create events that celebrate our differences while showcasing the ways we can work together. The conversation flowed, ideas blossoming like flowers in spring. Alindra watched as the community members began to see the potential for a partnership, one built on mutual respect and understanding. However, the progress made that day felt fragile. In the weeks that followed, Alindra and her team continued to work on various initiatives, but whispers of dissent still lingered. Some individuals remained staunchly opposed to the Council's presence, spreading fears and misinformation. One afternoon, while reviewing proposals for upcoming community workshops, Lena burst into Alindra's office, her face flushed with urgency. You won't believe what just happened. What is it? Alindra asked, concerned. There's been an incident at one of the cultural exchange workshops. A group of protesters showed up and started shouting that the council is here to destroy our way of life. They disrupted everything, Lena explained, her voice trembling. Alindra's heart sank. Did anyone get hurt? Thankfully, no. But it escalated quickly. The police had to be called to disperse the crowd, Lena said, running a hand through her hair. It's like all the progress we made has been undone in an instant. Alindra felt a wave of frustration wash over her. We need to address this immediately. We can't allow fear to dictate our narrative. The following day, Alindra and her team called an emergency meeting with community leaders and representatives from the dissenting groups. They needed to discuss the incident and find a way forward. As the meeting began, Alindra took a deep breath, steeling herself for the challenges ahead. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. We need to address the unrest that's growing in our community. Derek spoke first, his voice tense. People are scared, Alindra. The protesters are vocal, and their fears are spreading. We need to take a firm stand against misinformation. I agree, Alindra replied. We must engage with the community directly. I propose we hold a series of forums where people can express their concerns, and we can provide factual information about our intentions. Clara nodded, her expression softening. We also need to involve local leaders who can help mediate these discussions. We need to demonstrate that the Council values our community's voices. With a renewed sense of purpose, Alindra and the team set out to organize the forums. They promoted the events heavily, encouraging community members to attend and speak freely. When the first forum arrived, Alindra was nervous but resolute. The community center was filled with people some eager to engage, others visibly skeptical. As she took the stage, she could feel the weight of their expectations. Thank you for coming, she began, her voice steady. This is a safe space for all voices to be heard. I want to assure you that the council is committed to this community, and we are here to listen. Derek stood up, his arms crossed. What are you going to do about the misinformation? 
people are scared, and fear spreads quickly. I understand, Allinger replied. That's why we're here. We want to clear up any misconceptions. Let's discuss the facts, and if there are specific concerns, let's address them together. As the forum progressed, community members began to express their fears and ask questions. Alindra listened intently, taking notes and responding thoughtfully. One resident voiced concern about environmental impacts. How can we be sure your technologies won't harm our land? Alindra responded, We prioritize sustainability in all our initiatives. We can collaborate on projects that focus on preserving your land while utilizing our technologies to enhance agricultural practices. The discussion continued, and Alindra watched as the tension in the room began to dissipate. It became clear that the act of simply listening was having a profound impact. By the end of the forum, people were engaging in conversations, sharing ideas, and building connections. Alindra felt a sense of hope swelling within her, a reminder that dialogue could lead to understanding. As the community forums continued, Alindra noticed a subtle shift in the atmosphere of the town. People were beginning to engage with one another more openly, and the initial fear that had permeated their discussions was slowly giving way to curiosity and collaboration. The forums had created a space where both council members and community residents could voice their concerns and aspirations, and the results were starting to manifest. One evening, as Alindra reviewed the feedback collected from the recent forum, she felt a sense of pride. They had successfully opened channels of communication, and it seemed that trust was being rebuilt, piece by piece. The forums were not just about addressing fears, they were also opportunities for sharing dreams of a future where both cultures could thrive. Lena entered the room with a stack of papers in hand, her expression bright. Alindra, you need to see this, We've had a surge of interest in our mentorship program after the last forum. Really? That's fantastic, Alindra replied, her heart lifting. How many people have signed up? Over 50 so far. People are eager to learn more about council technologies and how they can benefit our community, Lena said, her enthusiasm contagious. It's a great sign that the conversations are shifting towards a more positive outlook. Alindra beamed at the news. This is exactly what we need. If we can show that the Council genuinely wants to collaborate and empower the community, we can turn this momentum into something lasting. As the mentorship program kicked off, Alindra participated in the first session, where Council members and community residents paired up for hands-on workshops. The energy in the room was electric as people shared their knowledge and skills. Tom, a mentor in the program, was demonstrating how to use a solar-powered irrigation system to a group of eager learners. Imagine being able to harness the power of the sun to grow your crops, he explained, his excitement infectious. This technology can help us become more self-sufficient and sustainable. Alindra observed from the back of the room, feeling a wave of gratitude wash over her. This was the bridge they had been trying to build one where knowledge and skills flowed freely between the two cultures. During a break, she approached Tom and his group. This is amazing work, Tom. The way you're engaging everyone is inspiring. Tom smiled, wiping sweat from his brow. Thanks, Alindra. I can see the shift in people's attitudes. They're beginning to realize that this isn't just about the council coming in and taking over. It's about us working together. Alindra felt hopeful. We need to keep this momentum going. We can organize more workshops, perhaps focusing on specific areas like agriculture, technology integration, and even traditional crafts. Let's celebrate our diversity while fostering understanding. The idea of integrating traditional crafts with council technologies took shape in the following weeks. Clara suggested hosting a cultural festival that showcased both human artistry and council innovations. We could have booths where people demonstrate their crafts and explain how our technologies can enhance those practices, she proposed. Absolutely, Alindra replied, energized by the suggestion. This festival could serve as a way to bring the entire community together, showing that we value and respect each other's contributions. Planning for the festival began in earnest. The community rallied together, 
excited about the chance to display their heritage alongside new technologies. They designed flyers, created a social media campaign, and even reached out to local media to garner attention. As the festival date approached, the buzz in the community was palpable. People were excited to share their crafts, and council members prepared demonstrations that highlighted how their technology could work in harmony with local traditions. On the day of the festival, the community center transformed into a vibrant tapestry of colors, sounds, and scents. Stalls were filled with handmade crafts, delicious foods, and engaging demonstrations. The atmosphere was electric as people mingled, exploring the offerings of both cultures. Alindra stood at the entrance, greeting attendees with a smile. She could see families enjoying the activities, children learning to weave with Tom, and others experimenting with solar-powered tools. It was a beautiful convergence of tradition and innovation. As the day unfolded, Alindra took a moment to step back and reflect. This festival was more than just an event. It was a testament to what they had achieved together. The sense of community was stronger than ever, and the air was filled with laughter and excitement. During a break, Alindra wandered over to a booth where Richard was demonstrating how to create eco-friendly paint using local plants. This is incredible, Richard. I love how you're blending tradition with sustainable practices. Thanks, Alindra, he replied, his eyes shining. This festival is a chance for us to showcase our culture while exploring how council technologies can enhance what we already do. As the sun began to set, casting a golden hue over the festival, Alindra felt a swell of pride. They were not just surviving, they were thriving together. However, just as the atmosphere reached its peak, a commotion arose at the far end of the festival grounds. Alindra's heart raced as she rushed toward the sound, her instincts on high alert. A group of protesters had gathered, their voices rising in anger, chanting against the council's presence. What's going on? Alindra asked as she approached, noticing the tension in the air. Derek stood at the forefront of the protesters, his expression resolute. We're here to remind everyone that not everyone agrees with this partnership. The council is taking over our lives, and we won't stand for it. Alindra felt a wave of dread wash over her. Derek, please, this isn't the place for this. The festival is about celebrating our unity. We can discuss concerns without resorting to protests. People need to hear us, he shouted back, his voice carrying through the crowd. We're not just going to sit back and let this happen. Alindra glanced around and noticed many attendees looking uncomfortable. She knew they needed to defuse the situation quickly. Everyone, let's take a moment to breathe. This festival is meant to bring us together, not tear us apart. Derek, I want to understand your concerns. Let's have a dialogue. The crowd began to settle, though murmurs of discontent lingered. Alindra gestured for Derek to step aside with her. Let's talk about this away from the crowd. I want to hear what you're feeling, she urged, her voice calm. Reluctantly, Derek followed her to a quieter corner. You're not getting it, Alindra. People are afraid. They think you're here to control us, and that fear is driving them to protest. You need to acknowledge that. I do acknowledge it, and I want to address those fears, Alindra replied earnestly but we can't do it in a way that disrupts the community we're trying to build. Let's set up a separate meeting where we can talk openly. I want to hear your ideas and your frustrations. Derek crossed his arms, contemplating her words. Fine, but you need to realize that not everyone feels as optimistic as you do. This partnership is still a threat to many of us. Alindra nodded, appreciating his honesty. I understand. Let's work together to create a space where all voices can be heard, where we can address concerns without anger or fear. As they returned to the festival, Alindra felt the weight of her responsibility. The challenges were far from over, but she was determined to ensure that dialogue remained open. The festival resumed, and she encouraged community members to engage in discussions, reminding them of the importance of unity. In the days that followed, Alindra coordinated a follow-up meeting with Derek and other protest leaders. They gathered in the community center, and Alindra prepared herself for a candid discussion. Thank you all for coming, she began, 
her heart racing. I appreciate your willingness to have this conversation. I want to hear your concerns openly so we can find common ground. Derek spoke first, his tone firm but less aggressive than before. People are scared. Elendra. They fear losing their culture, their land, and their way of life. We need assurance that the Council's presence won't erase our identity. I completely understand, Alandra replied, feeling the gravity of his words. Our goal is not to erase your culture, but to enhance it. We want to work alongside you, respecting your traditions while introducing sustainable practices. The discussion continued, with various community members voicing their fears and hopes. Alandra listened intently, taking notes and responding thoughtfully. The more they talked, the more they found common ground. By the end of the meeting, a sense of understanding began to blossom. Derek leaned forward, his expression softening. Maybe if we could see some concrete examples of how the Council's technologies are benefiting the community, it would ease some of our fears. Absolutely, Alandra replied, encouraged by his openness. We can organize a demonstration day where we showcase the benefits of our technologies in real-world applications. You'll have the opportunity to see firsthand how they can help your community. Clara added, We also need to ensure that community input is integrated into these demonstrations. If we can see how our voices matter in the planning and implementation, it will build trust. Alandra smiled. That's a great suggestion, Clara. We'll make... As the meeting wrapped up, Alandra felt a cautious optimism in the air. The community had taken a significant step toward rebuilding trust, and with every conversation, they were dismantling the barriers that had once divided them. But she knew this was just the beginning. Actions would speak louder than words, and it was essential to follow through on their promises. Over the next few weeks, Alandra and her team worked diligently to plan the demonstration day. They collaborated with community leaders, soliciting input on what technologies would be most beneficial to showcase. The goal was to provide tangible evidence of the Council's commitment to working alongside the residents. As the date approached, excitement buzzed through the town. Flyers were posted, and social media was abuzz with talk of the event. Community members were eager to see the innovations that could enhance their daily lives while preserving their cultural integrity. On the day of the demonstration, the community center was transformed once again. Stalls were set up outside, each featuring different technologies alongside traditional practices. The air was filled with the scent of local foods, and laughter echoed as families gathered to explore the offerings. Alindra stood at the entrance, welcoming attendees with a bright smile. As she watched families trickle in, she felt a sense of purpose. This was a chance to show them that the Council was here to enhance their lives, not to take away their identity. Tom was busy demonstrating a water purification system, explaining how it could provide clean drinking water using local resources. With this technology, you can ensure that your families stay healthy without relying solely on outside sources, he told a small crowd gathered around him. Nearby, Clara was weaving traditional baskets while explaining how the introduction of solar-powered lights could help artisans work after dark, extending their hours of production. This isn't about replacing our ways, it's about augmenting them, she explained passionately. As people moved from booth to booth, Alandra felt a wave of pride wash over her. The event was everything they had hoped for and more. Residents engaged in conversations, asked questions, and shared ideas. There was a palpable sense of curiosity that filled the air. As the demonstrations continued, Alandra spotted Derek approaching. He seemed a mix of apprehensive and curious. I didn't know what to expect, but I wanted to check it out, he admitted. I'm glad you came, Derek, Alandra replied warmly. We're really trying to show the community how these technologies can work in tandem with our traditions. Would you like me to show you around? Sure, he said, his tone softening. I'll give it a chance. As they walked through the stalls, Alandra noticed a change in Derek. He engaged with the presenters, asking questions and absorbing the information. At one point, they stopped at a booth featuring an innovative irrigation system. This could really help local farmers, especially with the erratic weather patterns we've been experiencing, Derek remarked.
his brow furrowing in thought. Yes, it's designed to be adaptable to various climates, ensuring that crops can thrive regardless of the conditions, Alindra explained. Derek nodded, a hint of appreciation in his voice. I can see how this could make a difference, but how do we know that the council won't just take over our farming practices? Alindra paused, choosing her words carefully. That's a valid concern. Our goal is to empower you, not to dictate how things are done. If you'd like, we can include local farmers in the decision-making process regarding the implementation of these technologies. Derek met her gaze, considering her words. That could work. It would help build trust if we feel involved in the process. As the day progressed, more community members arrived, drawn in by the energy of the event. Alindra felt buoyed by the positive atmosphere. People were starting to connect the dots between the Council's intentions and the potential benefits for their lives. At one point, Clara and Tom approached Alindra, both beaming. You have to see this, Tom exclaimed, pulling her toward a group of families gathered around a display of vertical gardens powered by smart technology. This is brilliant, Alindra said, her eyes lighting up as she observed the families interacting with the setup. They're learning how to grow food in smaller spaces using the latest tech. It's a great blend of innovation and sustainability. Clara nodded, her enthusiasm infectious. And the kids are really getting into it. They're asking questions and even participating in the planting. Alindra watched the children's faces light up with excitement as they planted seeds in the vertical garden. It was a beautiful sight, a new generation embracing both tradition and innovation. Later in the day, as the sun began to set, Alindra gathered everyone for a closing discussion. The crowd settled down, and she took a moment to reflect on the day's events. Thank you all for coming today, Alindra began, her heart swelling with pride. This demonstration was not just about showcasing technology, it was about building relationships and understanding how we can work together for a better future. Derek stood up, drawing the crowd's attention. I came here skeptical, but I have to say, seeing these technologies in action has changed my perspective. If we can collaborate and ensure that our voices are heard, I think we can create something truly beneficial for our community. A ripple of agreement spread through the crowd, and Alindra felt a warmth envelop the room. It was clear that they were making strides toward healing the divisions that had once seemed insurmountable. Clara added, we need to continue these discussions. Maybe we could set up regular meetings to keep the dialogue going and address any new concerns that arise. Alindra smiled, grateful for the proactive spirit within the community. That's a fantastic idea, Clara. I propose we schedule a monthly gathering where we can discuss progress, challenges, and ideas. This way, we can stay connected and ensure that everyone feels included. As the festival came to a close, Alindra felt a renewed sense of purpose. The progress they had made was encouraging, but she understood that the journey ahead would require ongoing effort and commitment. In the following weeks, Alindra and her team organized the first of their monthly gatherings. The turnout was impressive, and the atmosphere was filled with enthusiasm and hope. Residents shared updates on their experiences with the technologies, discussed new ideas, and collaborated on projects. At one gathering, a young woman named Marissa suggested, what if we created a community garden that incorporates both traditional farming and council technologies? It could serve as a living example of our partnership. That's a brilliant idea, Marissa, Alindra exclaimed. We could use it to educate both children and adults about sustainable practices and the benefits of our collaboration. Derek, who had become more engaged in the discussions, added, and we can invite local schools to participate, ensuring that the next generation is involved in this partnership. However, even with this momentum, not everything was smooth sailing. As the community garden project began to take shape, they encountered challenges. Some residents were still hesitant about the council's involvement, fearing that their traditions would be overshadowed. During one of the monthly gatherings, Alindra noticed tension in the air as a few individuals raised concerns. We appreciate the ideas, but we need assurance that this will not lead to the commercialization of our practices, 
one elder stated firmly. Alindra took a deep breath, recognizing the importance of addressing their fears. I understand your concerns, and it's crucial that we address them head on. This garden will be a community project, led by you, with council support. We want to enhance your traditions, not replace them. Clara added, let's make sure we define the purpose of the garden together, ensuring that it reflects our values and culture. After much discussion, they reached a consensus to establish a committee composed of community members to oversee the garden's development. This committee would ensure that all decisions were made collectively, with respect for the community's wishes. As the committee formed and plans for the community garden progressed, Alindra felt a sense of hope. This was a true partnership, one built on mutual respect and collaboration. The garden would serve as a tangible symbol of their efforts to blend tradition with innovation. Weeks turned into months, and as the garden took shape, so did the relationships within the community. People began to see the benefits of working together. They hosted workshops on sustainable practices, shared recipes, and celebrated the harvest with communal feasts. At one of the gatherings, Alindra stood up to address the group. I want to thank you all for your commitment to this project. The community garden has not only provided us with fresh produce, it has fostered friendships and understanding among us. The crowd erupted in applause, and Alindra felt a wave of gratitude wash over her. They were no longer two separate entities, they were becoming a unified community. But just as things were looking up, unexpected challenges arose. News spread about a corporation interested in developing a new energy source in the Region 1 that could potentially disrupt the community garden and the harmonious atmosphere they had cultivated. During one of their gatherings, Derek stood up, a look of concern on his face. We need to discuss this new development. If the corporation moves forward, it could threaten everything we've built here. Alindra's heart sank at the thought. I understand your concerns. We must act quickly to gather information and rally support from the community to... The atmosphere in the community center grew tense as Alindra faced the growing unease regarding the corporate interest in the region. The news had arrived like a storm cloud, casting a shadow over the unity they had painstakingly built. It was clear that they needed a collective response, one that reaffirmed their commitment to each other and their shared values. Alindra took a deep breath, addressing the gathered residents. I know that this news has created anxiety among us. It's natural to feel uncertain when faced with potential changes, but this community has shown resilience and strength before, and we can do so again. Derek stood, his expression serious. We need to understand what this corporation is proposing. If they want to disrupt our garden and our way of life, we have to be prepared to fight back. Alindra nodded, appreciating his passion. Agreed. Let's form a task force to gather information and develop a plan. We need to educate ourselves about the proposed developments and assess their potential impact on our community. That evening, Alindra gathered interested community members to form the task force. The energy in the room was a mix of determination and fear, but Alindra felt encouraged by the commitment everyone displayed. Thank you all for being here, she began. Our first step is to gather as much information as possible about this corporation and its plans. We need to know what they're proposing and how it could affect our community, especially our garden and the sustainability initiatives we've been building. Marissa, who had been instrumental in launching the community garden, raised her hand. We should also reach out to neighboring communities. If they're planning to develop here, it might affect them too. A united front will carry more weight. Excellent point, Marissa, Alindra replied. We need to build alliances and demonstrate that we are not alone in this fight. Let's create a list of stakeholders to contact and arrange meetings to discuss the situation. Over the next few weeks, the task force worked diligently, compiling information on the corporation and its history. They discovered that the company had a reputation for prioritizing profit over community well-being leaving a trail of environmental damage in its wake. During one of their meetings, Derek presented his findings. The corporation claims that this new energy source is cleaner and more efficient, 
but we found reports of environmental degradation in other areas they've developed. We can't trust that their intentions are pure. Alindra's heart sank at the implications. We must convey this to our community. People need to understand what is at stake here. We need to prepare for a public meeting where we can share our findings and discuss our concerns. When the day of the public meeting arrived, the community center buzzed with anticipation. Residents filled the seats, their faces a mixture of curiosity and concern. Alindra stood at the front, flanked by members of the task force, ready to present their findings. Thank you all for coming, she began, her voice steady. We are facing a serious challenge with the potential development of a corporation that does not prioritize our community's well-being. Our task force has gathered information that we believe everyone should know. Derek stepped forward, sharing his research on the corporation's past actions. He spoke passionately about the environmental impact and the need for vigilance. If we allow this corporation to move in, we risk losing not only our community garden, but also our cultural identity and the health of our land. Marissa added, we need to unite with neighboring communities to oppose this development. Together, our voices will be stronger and we can present a case against it. As they concluded their presentation, Alindra felt the tension in the room shift. We have the power to protect our home and our way of life. I propose that we organize a rally to show our opposition to this corporation. We need to make it clear that we will not stand idly by while they threaten our community. The crowd erupted in applause, and the atmosphere shifted from one of fear to determination. Alindra's heart raced with the energy in the room. They were ready to take action. Derek turned to Alindra, a fire in his eyes. We should also draft a petition to show our stance. It can be presented to local authorities to illustrate the community's opposition. Alindra nodded, grateful for his initiative. That's a great idea, Derek. We'll make sure everyone has the chance to sign it at the rally. In the weeks leading up to the rally, excitement and energy built throughout the community. Banners were painted, slogans were crafted, and residents organized logistics for the event. The sense of unity was palpable as they prepared to take a stand. On the day of the rally, the community center overflowed with people, their spirits high. Alindra stood at the forefront, a megaphone in hand. Thank you all for being here today. Our presence is a testament to our commitment to protecting our home and our way of life. The crowd cheered, and Alindra felt a surge of pride. Together, they marched through the town, chanting slogans and holding signs that expressed their opposition. The energy was electric, and the sense of solidarity among the residents was inspiring. As they reached the town square, Alindra took a moment to address the gathering crowd. We are not just here to protest. We are here to celebrate our community, our culture, and our commitment to sustainability. This rally is a message to the corporation that we will not be silenced. As the rally continued, other neighboring communities began to join in, adding to the growing crowd. News crews arrived to cover the event, and suddenly their message was reaching a broader audience. Derek and Marissa took turns speaking sharing their stories and emphasizing the importance of protecting their land. The crowd responded with enthusiasm, their energy feeding off each other's passion. Alindra felt a wave of gratitude wash over her. This was the culmination of their hard work and dedication. They were no longer two separate cultures. They were a unified community standing together against a common threat. As the rally concluded, they gathered around to share their next steps. We have momentum now, Alindra stated. We need to continue this energy and organize meetings with local authorities and environmental groups. We can't stop here. However, the corporate representatives did not remain silent for long. In the days following the rally, they issued a statement claiming that the community was misinformed about their intentions. They emphasized their commitment to sustainability and the economic benefits the development would bring. The statement infuriated Alindra and the task force. This is a tactic to undermine our efforts, Derek said, his frustration evident. They're trying to paint us as uneducated and unreasonable. Alindra nodded, her resolve strengthening. We need to counter their narrative. 
Let's gather more evidence. Perhaps reach out to environmental scientists and experts who can help us articulate our concerns more effectively. In the following weeks, Alindra and her team reached out to various environmental groups, seeking partnerships to strengthen their stance against the corporation. They organized a series of meetings with experts who could provide insights into the potential impact of the proposed development. During one meeting, a renowned environmental scientist presented alarming data about the consequences of similar developments on local ecosystems. The corporation's claims of sustainability are often misleading. In reality, their projects can lead to irreversible damage to your land and community. The task force absorbed the information, grateful for the knowledge that would empower their fight. This data can be used to bolster our case, Alindra stated. We need to incorporate it into our presentations to local authorities and community members. As the public hearing approached, Alindra and her team worked tirelessly to mobilize support. They coordinated a petition drive, gathering signatures from community members and allies in neighboring towns. The response was overwhelming, with thousands of signatures pouring in. On the day of the hearing, the community gathered once more, filled with determination and resolve. Alindra stood at the front of the room, flanked by task force members and community leaders. We are here today to voice our opposition to the proposed development that threatens our community and our way of life, she began. We have gathered evidence, data, and support from both our community and environmental experts. Our voices matter, and we will not be silenced. Derek and Marissa took turns speaking presenting their findings and sharing personal stories about the importance of their land and culture. The room was filled with passion as they spoke of the need for sustainability and respect for the community. After hours of testimonies and discussions, the local authorities called for a break to deliberate on the matter. The atmosphere in the room was tense as everyone awaited their decision. When the authorities returned, Alindra's heart raced. The head of the committee addressed the crowd, we have heard your concerns and the evidence presented. We recognize the importance of this community and the value of your voices. We are putting a hold on any developments until further studies can be conducted regarding the environmental impact. A wave of relief washed over the crowd, followed by cheers and applause. Alindra felt tears of joy prick at her eyes. They had done it. Their unity and dedication had made a difference. In the days that followed, the community celebrated their victory, but remained vigilant. They understood that this was only a temporary reprieve, and they needed to continue working together to protect their land and... The victory over the corporation was a moment of triumph, but it was also a reminder of the ongoing challenges that lay ahead. As the community celebrated, Alindra felt a renewed sense of purpose. They had successfully united against a common threat but now was the time to strengthen their bonds and ensure that their community remained resilient. In the weeks following the public hearing, Alindra and the task force organized a series of workshops aimed at fostering collaboration and education. They invited local experts to share knowledge about sustainable practices, environmental stewardship, and cultural preservation. The goal was to empower residents with tools and information that would help them navigate future challenges. On the day of the first workshop, the community center buzzed with excitement. Residents filled the seats, eager to learn and engage. Alindra stood at the front, ready to introduce the guest speaker, a local environmental activist named Dr. Samuel Voss. Thank you all for coming, she began, her voice steady. Today, we have the privilege of hearing from Dr. Voss, who has dedicated his life to protecting our environment and advocating for sustainable practices. He will share insights on how we can all contribute to the well-being of our land. Dr. Voss stepped forward, a warm smile on his face. It's wonderful to see so many engaged and passionate individuals here today. Community involvement is crucial for fostering sustainability and ensuring that future generations inherit a healthy planet. He shared stories of successful initiatives from other communities, illustrating how collaboration could lead to meaningful change. The key is to empower yourselves and each other. By working together, you can create a model that others will want to follow. After Dr. Voss's presentation, 
the community gathered in smaller groups to brainstorm actionable ideas. Alindra circulated, listening to the discussions and noting the enthusiasm in the room. Marissa proposed, what if we create a youth program that teaches kids about sustainability and their cultural heritage? We can involve them in projects that help our garden thrive while educating them on the importance of preserving our traditions. Derek chimed in, that's a fantastic idea. We could organize field trips, workshops, and even community service projects. It's essential to engage the next generation, ensuring they understand the importance of our land. Alindra nodded, her heart swelling with pride. Let's develop a plan for this program. We can reach out to local schools and create partnerships to make it happen. As they discussed the youth program, the idea of hosting a cultural celebration emerged. The event would showcase local traditions, crafts, and food, while emphasizing their commitment to sustainability and community. We can invite neighboring towns to participate, Alindra suggested. This could become an annual event that strengthens our bonds and showcases our heritage. The community quickly rallied around the idea. Volunteers signed up to help with planning, organizing activities, and coordinating with local artisans. Excitement filled the air as they envisioned a day of celebration, connection, and shared values. In the weeks leading up to the cultural celebration, the community came together to prepare. Banners were painted, booths were constructed, and traditional dishes were prepared. Alindra coordinated the logistics, ensuring that everyone felt included in the planning process. On the day of the celebration, the community center and surrounding grounds were transformed into a vibrant festival space. Colorful decorations adorned the area, and the scent of delicious food wafted through the air. Alindra stood at the entrance, welcoming attendees with a smile. As families arrived, laughter filled the air. Children ran around, their faces painted with bright colors, while adults engaged in conversations and shared stories. It was a beautiful display of unity and culture, and Alindra felt a deep sense of belonging. Throughout the day, various activities highlighted the community's rich cultural heritage. Local artisans displayed their crafts, showcasing traditional pottery, textiles, and artwork. Clara led workshops on weaving, sharing techniques passed down through generations. Everyone is welcome to join, Clara encouraged, her enthusiasm infectious. Let's celebrate our heritage together while teaching others about our traditions. Derek organized a series of games for children, ensuring they engaged with both cultural practices and teamwork. The energy was high, and laughter echoed as kids participated in relay races and traditional games. As the sun began to set, Alindra gathered the community for a closing ceremony. Thank you all for coming today. This celebration is a testament to our strength and resilience. We've come together to honor our traditions while embracing a sustainable future. In the midst of the festivities, Alindra took a moment to step aside and reflect. She felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude for the journey they had embarked on together. From the initial skepticism surrounding the Galactic Council to this moment of celebration and unity, they had transformed not only their community, but also their relationships with each other. As she stood there, a familiar face approached her. It was Derek, his expression thoughtful. Alindra, I've been reflecting on everything we've accomplished. It feels incredible to see our community come together like this. It truly is remarkable, she replied, a smile spreading across her face. We've faced challenges, but through it all, we've built something beautiful. It's important to remember that this is just the beginning. As the cultural celebration drew to a close, Alindra felt invigorated by the connections they had forged and the lessons they had learned. However, she knew that the world outside their community was still filled with uncertainty. The corporation had not vanished. It remained a looming threat that they had to keep in check. Derek, we should schedule a follow-up meeting with a task force to discuss our next steps, Alindra suggested. We can't let our guard down. Absolutely, Derek agreed. We need to remain vigilant and proactive in protecting our community. Maybe we can also reach out to other groups who successfully resisted similar developments for advice. In the following weeks, the task force reconvened to strategize. 
they reviewed their successes and analyzed areas where they could improve their efforts. The conversation was lively as they shared ideas and insights. We need to stay connected with local media, Marissa pointed out. By keeping our story alive in public discourse, we can maintain pressure on the corporation and highlight our community's commitment to sustainability. Good point, Marissa, Alandra said, nodding. We should draft press releases and engage with reporters who covered our rally. Keeping our message in the public eye is crucial. As the task force worked, they also recognized the importance of education. We need to equip our community with knowledge about their rights, Derek stated. If we face opposition again, we need to know how to advocate for ourselves effectively. As the weeks passed, Alindra found herself reflecting on the importance of vigilance and the unexpected twist life could take. One evening, while she was walking home from the community center, she noticed a figure sitting on a bench nearby. As she approached, she recognized the familiar face of one of the corporate representatives, a woman named Leora. She was an unexpected sight in their neighborhood, and Alindra felt a mix of curiosity and caution. Hello, Alindra, Leora said, looking up from her phone. I hope you don't mind me sitting here. Alindra hesitated but decided to engage. What brings you to our community? Leora sighed, glancing around. I wanted to talk to you, actually. I've been following the developments here and wanted to understand your perspective better. Alindra crossed her arms, unsure of Leora's intentions. We've been pretty clear about our stance. We believe in protecting our community and our land. I understand, Leora replied, her tone more earnest than Alindra had expected. But I also think there are opportunities for collaboration that haven't been explored. Our corporation has developed sustainable technologies that could actually benefit your community. Alindra raised an eyebrow, skeptical. We've seen the reports about the environmental damage caused by similar projects. How can we trust that your intentions are genuine? Leora met her gaze, her expression serious. I get it. Trust is earned, not given. I'm not here to make promises. I want to learn about your needs and see if there's a way we can address them together. Intrigued yet cautious, Alindra decided to continue the conversation. Okay, I'm willing to listen. But understand that our community has been burned before. We're not easily swayed. Leora nodded, acknowledging Alindra's concerns. Fair enough. Let's talk openly about your priorities and what you envision for your community's future. As they talked, Alindra found herself surprised by Leora's willingness to engage in a genuine dialogue. They discussed the challenges the community faced, the importance of preserving their traditions, and the potential for collaboration without compromising their values. Imagine a project where your community leads the charge, utilizing our technology in a way that aligns with your traditions, Leora suggested. What if we worked together to create sustainable energy solutions that enhance your way of life instead of disrupting it? Alindra considered Leora's words carefully. It would depend on how this partnership is structured. We need to ensure that our voices are at the forefront of any decision-making. I agree, Leora replied earnestly. It can't be a one-sided deal. I want to help bridge the gap, not widen it. The sun was setting casting a golden hue over the community as Alindra and Leora sat on the bench. The air was filled with the scent of blooming flowers from the community garden, a reminder of what was at stake. Alindra felt a cautious hope. Perhaps this unexpected encounter could lead to something productive. Tell me more about your technology, Alindra said, leaning slightly forward. Curiosity peaked. How does it align with sustainable practices? Leora took a deep breath her expression shifting to one of enthusiasm. Our company has developed energy solutions that utilize renewable resources. For example, we've created solar panels that are designed to blend seamlessly with the environment. They're not just efficient, they're aesthetically pleasing and can be integrated into existing structures without compromising their integrity. Alindra raised an eyebrow. And what's the catch? You mentioned a partnership, how do you ensure that the community benefits and not just your corporation? Leora smiled, appreciating Alindra's skepticism. 
That's a valid concern. My vision is for this to be a collaborative effort. We'd need community input at every step. Your insights on how to implement these technologies without disrupting your way of life would be invaluable. Alandra contemplated Leora's proposition. What if we organized a community meeting to discuss this further? If people are open to the idea, we could brainstorm ways to integrate technology while preserving our values. Absolutely, Leora agreed, her enthusiasm evident. I'd be happy to present our ideas to the community and address any concerns they might have. Transparency is key. Alandra felt a flicker of excitement, but also apprehension. You realize this isn't going to be an easy sell. The community has strong ties to the land, and trust must be earned. I understand, Leora replied. I'm prepared for tough questions. My goal is to show that we can innovate while respecting your traditions. As they discussed logistics, Alandra felt an unexpected connection forming. Leora seemed genuine, and her willingness to engage was refreshing. However, the shadows of doubt lingered in the back of Alandra's mind. The following week, Alandra called for a community meeting to discuss the potential partnership with Leora. As the news spread, reactions were mixed some residents were skeptical, while others were curious about the possibilities. On the night of the meeting, the community center buzzed with energy. Residents filled the seats, and the air crackled with anticipation. Alandra stood at the front, flanked by Leora. Thank you all for coming, Alandra began, her voice steady. We're here to discuss an opportunity that could impact our community's future. Leora, from the corporation, has expressed interest in collaborating with us on sustainable energy solutions. She's here to present her ideas and answer your questions. Leora stepped forward, her demeanor professional yet approachable. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you all. I understand the skepticism surrounding my company, and I'm here to listen as much as I am to share. As Leora began her presentation, she highlighted the benefits of renewable energy, providing examples of successful projects in other communities. The visuals were compelling, showcasing the beauty and efficiency of the technologies. However, the mood shifted as residents began to voice their concerns. Why should we trust your corporation after everything we've seen? One elder questioned, his voice steady. Leora met his gaze, unflinching. Trust must be earned, and I'm here to engage in a dialogue. My hope is to build a partnership that prioritizes your community's values and needs. Another resident chimed in, What's in it for your company? How will this benefit you? Leora nodded, acknowledging the question. Every project needs to be financially viable. However, I believe that a successful partnership will benefit both parties. By working together, we can create a model that can be replicated elsewhere, showing that profit and sustainability can coexist. As the evening progressed, more residents began to share their thoughts. Some were still resistant, but others began to see the potential for collaboration. Alandra noticed a shift in the atmosphere, a willingness to engage in dialogue rather than shut it down. After a particularly poignant exchange, Derek stood up. I appreciate Leora's willingness to listen, but I need to know how we can ensure that our community has a say in every step of this process. Leora responded earnestly, I propose establishing a community advisory board. This board would include representatives from your community who would be involved in decision-making processes. Your voices would guide the project from start to finish. The idea resonated with the crowd, and Alandra felt a wave of optimism. Perhaps this could be a step toward healing the rift between their community and the corporation. As the meeting concluded, Alandra and Leora received a mix of reactions some residents were excited about the possibilities, while others remained skeptical. However, the fact that they had engaged in an open dialogue was a significant step forward. In the days that followed, Alandra and the task force worked diligently to gather feedback from the community. They organized smaller group discussions, allowing residents to voice their concerns and ideas in a more intimate setting. Alandra was determined to ensure that everyone felt heard. This is about us, our community, and our future, she emphasized during one of the discussions. 
If we move forward, it must be on our terms. As the weeks passed, the task force began to shape a proposal for the partnership. They outlined community priorities, emphasizing the importance of preserving cultural heritage and ensuring environmental sustainability. Leora was responsive, incorporating feedback and suggestions from the community into her plans. The relationship began to grow, built on the foundation of trust and transparency. On a sunny afternoon, they held another community meeting to present the revised proposal. The atmosphere was filled with a mix of apprehension and hope. Alindra stood at the front, ready to share their progress. Today, we're excited to present a plan that reflects our community's values and vision for the future, she announced, her voice steady. Leora has worked closely with us to ensure that your voices are at the forefront of this partnership. As Leora presented the updated proposal, she highlighted the Community Advisory Board, the commitment to sustainable practices, and the ways in which the technology would be integrated without compromising their cultural values. Residents listened attentively, and Alindra could see the skepticism begin to melt away. Questions were still raised, but the tone of the discussion shifted from confrontation to collaboration. Derek asked, How will we measure the success of this partnership? What benchmarks will we use? Leora responded thoughtfully, We can establish clear goals together, focusing on both environmental impact and community benefits. Regular assessments and community feedback will be essential components of our process. As the evening wore on, Alindra sensed a growing consensus among the residents. While not everyone was fully on board, many were willing to give the partnership a chance, provided that their concerns were addressed. Let's move forward with a trial phase, Marissa suggested. This will allow us to test the waters and assess how well this collaboration aligns with our values. The idea was met with nods of agreement, and Alindra felt a wave of relief. They were ready to take a calculated step forward. With the proposal accepted, the community began to embrace the partnership. The formation of the Community Advisory Board marked a new chapter in their journey. The board included representatives from various age groups and backgrounds, ensuring that diverse perspectives were considered. Meetings became a regular occurrence, where community members discussed updates, addressed concerns, and provided input on project developments. Leora was present at each meeting, fostering an atmosphere of collaboration. Alindra felt invigorated by the progress they were making. It was a delicate balance navigating the complexities of a corporate partnership while staying true to their values. But she was determined to ensure that their community remained at the forefront of every decision. As the first phase of the partnership began to take shape, Alindra proposed a small celebration to recognize the progress they had made. The idea was met with enthusiasm, and soon the community was buzzing with plans for a gathering. On the day of the celebration, the community center was adorned with decorations, and the scent of delicious food wafted through the air. Residents gathered, sharing laughter and stories as they celebrated their resilience and the new possibilities that lay ahead. Alindra stood at the front, ready to address the crowd. Today, we celebrate not just our achievements, but the strength of our community. We've come together to forge a path towards sustainability and collaboration. Let this be a reminder of what we can accomplish when we unite. As the evening unfolded, Alindra felt a sense of hope for the future. The partnership with Leora's corporation was still in its infancy, but they had laid the groundwork for meaningful change. While there were challenges ahead, the community was better equipped to face them. The lessons they had learned about trust, collaboration, and resilience would guide them through whatever uncertainties lay ahead. As the celebration continued, Alindra glanced around at the smiling faces of her friends and neighbors. They had built a bridge, a connection that transcended fear and uncertainty. They had transformed from a community wary of outside influence to one willing to embrace change while honoring their roots. The celebration lingered in Alindra's heart as the days turned into weeks. The community had embraced the partnership with Leora's corporation, and with it came a renewed sense of optimism. Yet, as they began to implement the initial phases of the project, Alindra felt the weight of responsibility bearing down on her. 
It was one thing to come together in celebration, but quite another to ensure that the promise of collaboration translated into real, positive change. As she walked through the community center, Alindra noticed a group gathered around a table, poring over blueprints and reports. Curious, she approached them. It was the Community Advisory Board, deep in discussion about the initial phase of the Renewable Energy Project. Hey, everyone, Alindra greeted, her tone warm. What are you working on? Marissa looked up, her expression a mix of excitement and concern. We're going through the project details that Leora sent us. There are some great ideas here, but I'm worried about how they'll be received by everyone in the community. Alindra nodded, understanding the concern. Let's go over them together. What specifically stands out to you? Marissa gestured to a set of plans spread across the table. These solar panels, they're designed to be integrated into existing structures, which is good. But we need to ensure they won't compromise the aesthetics of our homes or our cultural sites. Derek chimed in, that's a valid point. We should think about how to incorporate our traditional designs into this new technology. It's crucial that it feels like a part of our identity, not an imposition. Alindra leaned in, feeling a surge of inspiration. What if we hold a design contest? We can invite community members to submit ideas on how to integrate the panels while respecting our cultural aesthetics. This way, we can engage everyone and ensure their voices are heard. Marissa's eyes lit up. That's a brilliant idea. It would encourage creativity and investment in the project. Excited by the idea, the advisory board quickly began drafting the parameters for the contest. They established guidelines that emphasized community involvement, cultural significance, and environmental sustainability. Alindra felt invigorated by the enthusiasm in the room, but she also recognized the importance of maintaining momentum. We should also prepare a communication plan, she suggested. We need to keep everyone informed and engaged as we move forward. Transparency will help alleviate any lingering doubts. Derek nodded in agreement. Let's schedule regular updates and community forums. That way, we can address questions and concerns as they arise. As they finalized the details of the contest and the communication plan, Alindra felt a sense of unity among the board members. They were all committed to ensuring that the project remained true to their values. In the weeks that followed, word spread about the design contest. The community center buzzed with excitement as residents began brainstorming ideas. Families gathered around tables, sketching designs and discussing how they could harmonize the new technology with their traditional aesthetics. Alindra felt a sense of pride as she watched the community come alive with creativity. She organized workshops where residents could learn about the technologies being proposed and how they could play a role in shaping them. It was a chance for everyone to contribute and Alindra believed it was essential to empower the community. On the night of the first workshop, the community center was filled with energy. Alindra stood at the front, ready to introduce Leora, who had agreed to join them and share insights about the solar panel technology. Thank you all for coming, Alindra began. Tonight, we're excited to have Leora here to explain the technology behind the solar panels and how they can be adapted to fit our community's needs. Let's give her a warm welcome. As Leora took the stage, she exuded confidence. Thank you, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here and eager to see your creative ideas. The solar panels we're proposing are not only efficient, but also versatile. They can be customized to blend in with different architectural styles. She presented visuals showing various ways the panels could be integrated showcasing options that featured natural colors and designs inspired by local artistry. Alindra could see the interest growing in the audience, with many residents leaning forward, captivated by Leora's explanations. What's important is that we find a balance, Leora continued. Your culture and traditions are vital, and we want to celebrate that. I encourage each of you to think outside the box as you create your designs for the contest. As the evening progressed, Alindra facilitated a queue and a session, allowing residents to voice their thoughts and concerns. The discussions were constructive, and Alindra felt encouraged by the level of engagement. 
the design contest officially launched the following week, and submissions began pouring in. The excitement was palpable as families showcased their ideas ranging from traditional motifs to innovative designs that reflected their culture. Alindra and the advisory board scheduled a review panel to evaluate the entries, composed of community members, local artists, and representatives from Leora's team. The diversity of perspectives ensured that the designs would be thoughtfully assessed. As the deadline approached, Alindra felt a mixture of anticipation and nervousness. This was a crucial moment in their partnership, and the community's response to the designs would set the tone for the future. On the day of the review panel, the community center was abuzz. Residents gathered to witness the evaluation process, eager to see how their ideas would be received. The review panel commenced, with each designer presenting their concept. The energy in the room was electric as community members shared their visions. Alindra felt pride swell within her as she listened to the creativity on display. These designs are incredible, you've captured the essence of our culture while embracing innovation. After hours of deliberation, the panel reached a consensus. They selected a range of designs that would be developed further, showcasing the community's diversity and commitment to sustainability. Alindra stood before the crowd, ready to announce the winners. I'm thrilled to share that we've chosen several designs that will be integrated into the solar panel project. Each design reflects our values and our commitment to sustainability. Applause erupted throughout the room, and Alindra felt a wave of excitement wash over her. The community had come together, embracing the challenge and celebrating their creativity. With the designs in hand, Leora's team began the next phase of the project, working closely with the advisory board to ensure that each design was implemented thoughtfully. The partnership was gaining momentum and Alindra felt a sense of hope for the future. However, as they moved forward, Alindra was reminded that the journey was not without challenges. A few weeks later, she received troubling news. There were rumors circulating in the local media about the corporation's past practices reports that painted a less favorable picture of their intentions. Concerned, Alindra convened an emergency meeting with the advisory board to discuss the implications. This could derail everything we've worked for, Marissa said, her voice laced with anxiety. If people start to question our partnership, it could lead to a backlash. Derek added, we need to be proactive. Let's address these concerns head on. We can't afford to lose the trust we've built. Alindra nodded, feeling the weight of the situation. Let's draft a transparent statement addressing the concerns raised. We need to clarify our commitment to sustainability and the community's involvement in this project. The advisory board worked late into the night, crafting a response that outlined their goals and the steps they had taken to ensure transparency. They highlighted the importance of the community advisory board and the design contest as evidence of their commitment to collaboration. Once the statement was finalized, Alindra arranged a press conference to share their message with the community and the media. Standing before the microphones, she took a deep breath, steeling herself for the challenge ahead. Thank you for joining us today, Alindra began, her voice steady. We're here to address recent concerns regarding our partnership with Leora's Corporation. We understand that trust is earned and we want to be transparent about our intentions and the collaborative efforts we're making to protect our community. As she spoke, Alindra emphasized the community's role in shaping the project and the importance of sustainable practices. She answered questions from the media, addressing concerns with honesty and integrity. The press conference garnered attention, and Alindra felt the impact of their proactive approach. Local media outlets began to cover the story highlighting the community's commitment to sustainability and the collaborative spirit of the project. In the days that followed, Alindra noticed a shift in the narrative. The media began to portray the partnership in a more positive light, focusing on the community's involvement and the innovative designs being developed. As the partnership continued to evolve, Alindra felt a renewed sense of purpose. The challenges they faced only strengthened their resolve to ensure that their community remained at the forefront of every decision. As the project progressed, Alindra initiated regular community forums, 
providing a platform for residents to voice their thoughts, concerns, and ideas. The forums became a space for open dialogue, and Alindra found that many residents were eager to engage. During one of the forums, an elder named Mr. Jenkins raised an important point. We've come a long way, but we must remain vigilant. We can't lose sight of our values in the face. Mr. Jenkins' voice resonated throughout the community center, capturing the attention of everyone present. Alindra could sense the weight of his words, reflecting both the pride and apprehension that lingered in the air. We've made significant progress, he continued, but we must remain vigilant. The world outside our community is complex, and there are forces that may not have our best interest at heart. We must ensure that our partnership remains rooted in our values. The room fell silent as the gravity of his statements sunk in. Alindra nodded in agreement, recognizing the need for ongoing scrutiny and engagement. Thank you, Mr. Jenkins, she said, her voice steady. You're absolutely right. This partnership is a commitment, and with any commitment, we must continuously assess its alignment with our community's needs and values. Our vigilance will be key. To bolster their commitment to oversight, Alindra proposed the formation of a task force dedicated to monitoring the progress of the solar energy project. This group would include advisory board members and additional community volunteers willing to engage in the oversight process. We need to establish clear benchmarks and regular assessments, she explained. This task force will help ensure that we remain accountable to ourselves and our community throughout this journey. The idea was met with enthusiasm, and within days, a diverse group of residents came together to form the task force. They established their first meeting, eager to define their roles and responsibilities. During their initial gathering, Alindra facilitated a discussion on what aspects of the project they should prioritize. Transparency is crucial, Marissa emphasized. We should focus on communication with the community, making sure everyone knows what's happening and has a voice in the process. Derek added, We should also monitor the environmental impact closely. It's essential that we're not just adopting new technology, but doing so in a way that respects our land. The group agreed to create a set of metrics to evaluate both the project's implementation and its impact on the environment. With a clear plan in place, they felt empowered to engage with the project in a meaningful way. As the task force began their work, they scheduled regular check-ins with Leora's team to discuss progress, address concerns, and provide feedback. These meetings became a cornerstone of their collaborative approach, ensuring that the lines of communication remained open. During one of the early check-ins, Leora presented updates on the installation of the solar panels. We've made significant progress on the initial phase, she announced, her enthusiasm palpable. The designs chosen from the contest are being integrated, and we're on track for the scheduled rollout. Alindra listened carefully, eager to hear how the community's input was being incorporated. Have there been any challenges so far, she asked. Leora nodded, acknowledging the complexities of the project. We face some logistical hurdles, particularly with sourcing materials that match the designs. However, our team is committed to finding sustainable solutions that align with your community's vision. After the meeting, the task force organized a community forum to share updates and gather feedback. Residents filed into the community center, buzzing with curiosity about the progress of the solar energy project. Alindra stood at the front, ready to address the crowd. Thank you all for coming. We're excited to share that the first phase of the project is underway. Leora and her team have been working diligently to integrate your designs, and we want to hear your thoughts on the progress. As she spoke, Alindra could see the excitement building in the room. Leora joined her at the front, ready to present visuals of the ongoing work. After the presentation, Alindra opened the floor to questions. What concerns do you have? How can we ensure this project continues to align with our community's values? One resident, Clara, raised her hand. How are we ensuring that the materials used are truly sustainable? There's a lot of talk about green technology, but we need to make sure it's not just a marketing ploy. Leora responded thoughtfully. 
That's a crucial point, Clara. We're sourcing materials from certified suppliers who meet stringent environmental standards. We're committed to transparency in our supply chain and will provide documentation for all materials used. Alundra could see Clara relax a bit, satisfied with a response. Other residents chimed in with their concerns, and Alundra felt a sense of pride in the open dialogue taking place. As the forums continued, the task force encouraged residents to share their experiences and observations about the project's implementation. This feedback loop became an integral part of the partnership, fostering a sense of shared ownership. Alindra felt optimistic. With each community gathering, trust was being rebuilt, and the partnership was taking shape as a genuine collaboration. However, she knew the road ahead would not be without its challenges. There were still external pressures to consider rumors continued to swirl in the media, and the community remained cautious about the corporation's past practices. One evening, while reviewing articles about their partnership, Alindra stumbled upon a particularly scathing piece that painted Leora's corporation in a negative light. The article highlighted past controversies and raised doubts about their sincerity. Feeling a surge of frustration, Alindra brought the article to the task force's next meeting. We need to address this head-on, she stated firmly. These narratives can affect public perception and community trust. We have to ensure that we're proactively communicating our progress and intentions. The group discussed strategies for countering negative narratives and decided to launch a community-wide campaign that highlighted their achievements and commitment to sustainability. Let's create a series of informative flyers and host events that showcase our progress, Marissa suggested. We can invite residents to share their positive experiences with the project. Derek agreed. We should also leverage social media. A lot of residents are active online, and we can use those platforms to share updates and counter misinformation. Alindra felt a renewed sense of determination as the task force brainstormed ideas. They outlined a plan to engage the community, emphasizing the importance of transparency and the collective effort being made to ensure the project remained true to their values. The following week, the task force launched the campaign, distributing flyers that highlighted key milestones and showcased the community's involvement in the design process. They organized a series of open houses, inviting residents to see the solar panel installations firsthand and learn about the technology being used. During one of the open houses, Alindra noticed an influx of families, curious to see the progress. Leora was present engaging with residents and addressing any lingering concerns. As she spoke to a group of children about the solar panels, Alindra felt a wave of hope. The next generation was beginning to understand the importance of sustainability and the role they could play in shaping their future. Later in the day, a group of parents approached Alindra, expressing their appreciation for the open house. This is a great way to keep us informed, one mother said. It's nice to see that our voices matter in this process. Alindra smiled, grateful for the positive feedback. Thank you for being engaged. This project belongs to all of us, and your input is invaluable. As the months passed, the solar energy project progressed steadily. The task force continued to monitor developments and hold regular community forums, fostering a culture of transparency and engagement. However, Alindra knew that external pressures remained. The media continued to scrutinize their partnership, with some outlets focusing on past controversies and potential pitfalls. During one of their meetings, Derek voiced his concerns. It feels like we're constantly defending ourselves. We need to shift the narrative and focus on the positive impacts we're making. Marissa suggested, what if we organized a community event to celebrate our achievements? We could invite local leaders, media, and even representatives from the Galactic Council to witness our progress firsthand. Alindra's eyes lit up. That's a fantastic idea. A public celebration could help shift the narrative and showcase the strength of our community. With a clear vision in mind, the task force set to work organizing a large community event to celebrate the Solar Energy Project. They planned a day filled with activities, including workshops, 
presentations, and opportunities for residents to share their experiences. As the date approached, excitement bubbled throughout the community. Residents collaborated to prepare, and the energy was palpable. Alindra felt a sense of purpose, knowing that this celebration would not only showcase their progress, but also reinforce the bonds that had formed through their collective efforts. On the day of the celebration, the community center was transformed into a vibrant hub of activity. Colorful banners adorned the walls, and local musicians played lively tunes as families gathered to celebrate. Alindra welcomed the crowd, her heart swelling with pride. Thank you all for being here today. This celebration is a testament to the strength of our community and our commitment to a sustainable future. Together, we've made remarkable progress, and today, we celebrate that achievement. Leora joined Alindra at the front, ready to present the latest updates on the project. She spoke passionately about the solar panel's integration, showcasing images of the installations that had been completed. It's not just about the technology, it's about the heart and soul of this community, Leora emphasized. Your involvement has made this project truly unique, and I'm grateful for your partnership. As she spoke, Alindra watched the audience engage with a presentation. Residents nodded, shared comments, and expressed excitement about the progress being made. The celebration continued to unfold, filled with laughter, music, and the unmistakable energy of a community coming together. Alindra could feel the pride radiating from every corner of the room as families mingled, sharing stories about the solar energy project and their hopes for a sustainable future. As the day progressed, various booths were set up to educate attendees on renewable energy, showcasing everything from the science behind solar power to hands-on activities for children. A group of teenagers had organized a mini-exhibit on energy conservation, complete with interactive games and demonstrations. The enthusiasm was contagious. Hey, Alindra, a voice called from behind her. Turning, she saw Clara approaching, a wide grin on her face. You have to check out the kids' booth. They're teaching everyone how to make solar ovens out of cardboard. Alindra chuckled, her heart warming at the sight of the younger generation engaging with the concepts of sustainability. That sounds amazing. Let's go take a look. As they made their way to the booth, Alindra noticed Leora chatting with a group of local leaders, their faces animated as they discussed the project. It was encouraging to see such collaboration across different sectors of the community, reinforcing the idea that sustainability was a collective endeavor. When Alindra and Clara arrived at the kids' booth, they were met with a flurry of activity. Children gathered around a table, eagerly assembling cardboard boxes, foil, and plastic wrap, their faces lit with curiosity and determination. Look, Alindra, one young boy exclaimed proudly holding up his solar oven. We're going to cook s'mores with the sun. The sheer joy on their faces was infectious. Alindra smiled and knelt beside them. That's incredible. You're all doing such a great job. Do you know how the solar oven works? A girl with bright red pigtails nodded vigorously. It traps the sun's heat to cook food. It's like magic, but it's science. Alindra beamed, feeling a sense of hope. These children were not only learning about renewable energy, they were becoming stewards of the future. As the day wore on, Alindra wandered through the various booths and activities, engaging with community members and celebrating their achievements. Each conversation reinforced her belief that they were on the right path. As dusk approached, it was time for the evening's main event, the awards ceremony recognizing the contributions of community members in the Solar Energy Project. Alindra gathered everyone in the central area, her heart racing with excitement. Thank you all for being here today, she began, her voice filled with enthusiasm. This celebration has been a wonderful reminder of what we can achieve when we come together as a community. Now, it's time to recognize some outstanding contributions. Leora joined her on stage, a stack of certificates in hand. We have been truly inspired by the creativity and dedication shown throughout the design contest and the project implementation. It's a testament to the spirit of this community. As the names were called, applause erupted for each recipient. Families beamed with pride, 
and the energy in the room was electric. Alindra took a moment to reflect on the journey they had embarked upon, recognizing the importance of each individual's contribution. Let's give a special round of applause to the task force for their tireless efforts in overseeing the project and ensuring that our community's voice remains at the forefront, Alindra announced. Cheers erupted from the crowd as members of the task force stepped forward, a mix of pride and humility etched on their faces. After the awards ceremony, Alindra took a moment to step outside, breathing in the cool evening air. The sky was painted with hues of orange and purple as the sun set on the horizon, mirroring the warmth she felt in her heart. Suddenly, she heard footsteps behind her. Turning, she saw Mr. Jenkins approaching, a smile on his face. Alindra, this event has been remarkable. You've done a wonderful job bringing everyone together. Thank you, Mr. Jenkins. It's truly a team effort. I couldn't have done it without the support of the task force and the community, she replied, her gratitude sincere. He nodded thoughtfully, his gaze drifting to the celebrations unfolding inside. What you've created here is something special. It's not just about solar panels. It's about fostering a sense of belonging and shared purpose. Alindra reflected on his words, understanding the deeper significance of their efforts. We're building a foundation for future generations. It's about ensuring that our community is resilient and engaged in shaping our future. As the celebrations continued, Alindra felt an urge to address the crowd one last time. Returning to the central area, she took the microphone. Can I have everyone's attention for a moment, please? The crowd quieted, turning their attention to her. I want to thank you all for being a part of this celebration today. What we've accomplished together is just the beginning. As we move forward with the Solar Energy Project, let's remember the importance of vigilance and engagement. She paused, allowing her words to sink in. The challenges we face are not just technological, but also social. We must remain committed to transparency, collaboration, and inclusivity. Our strength lies in our unity, and together, we can navigate whatever uncertainties come our way. Applause erupted from the crowd, and Alindra felt a swell of pride. As the evening came to a close, Alindra was approached by Leora, who looked somewhat concerned. Alindra, can we talk for a moment? I have something important to discuss. Of course, Leora. What's on your mind? Alindra replied, sensing the gravity in Leora's tone. I just received some troubling news from our headquarters, Leora began, her brow furrowing. There have been reports of protests in other communities against our company. Some activists are spreading misinformation about our practices and intentions. Alindra felt a knot tighten in her stomach. What kind of misinformation? Claims that we're exploiting resources or not following through on our promises to support local communities, Leora explained. It's creating a backlash that could affect our projects here as well. Alindra took a deep breath understanding the potential implications. We need to address this before it spirals out of control. The last thing we want is for the community to feel uncertain about our partnership. Agreed, Leora said, her expression resolute. I suggest we hold an emergency community meeting to address the concerns and share our side of the story. Transparency is key. Alindra nodded, determination rising within her. Let's mobilize the task force and prepare a clear message. We need to reassure the community that we're committed to our values and that we're here to support them. The next day, Alindra convened an urgent meeting with a task force. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. We need to address some concerns that have arisen regarding our partnership with Leora's corporation. She explained the situation emphasizing the importance of acting swiftly to maintain community trust. We must be transparent about our progress and our intentions. I suggest we hold a community forum where residents can voice their concerns and we can provide clear answers. Marissa spoke up, her voice firm. We should also prepare a written statement that addresses the specific claims being made. We need to make it clear that our project is rooted in community engagement and sustainability. Derek nodded in agreement. 
Let's outline the steps we've taken and how we're ensuring that our practices align with our values. We can use this as an opportunity to reinforce our commitment. The task force spent the next few days crafting a response, carefully outlining their achievements and the community-driven nature of the project. They organized a community forum for the following week, ensuring that everyone had a chance to engage in an open dialogue. As the day of the forum approached, Alindra felt a mix of anxiety and determination. She understood the importance of this meeting not only to address concerns, but to reaffirm the community's unity in the face of challenges. On the day of the forum, the community center was filled with residents, their expressions a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. Alindra stood at the front, flanked by Leora and task force members. Thank you all for being here, Alindra began, her voice steady. We're here to address concerns regarding our partnership and the misinformation circulating in the community. We believe that transparency and dialogue are crucial to our continued collaboration. As Alindra opened the floor for questions, she was met with a range of concerns. Residents voiced their worries about the corporation's past practices and the potential impact on their community. One resident, a man named Thomas, stood up. I appreciate the work you're doing, but how can we be sure that our community's interests are prioritized? Alindra met his gaze, understanding the weight of his question. Our community advisory board is actively involved in overseeing the project, and we're committed to ensuring that your voices are heard in every decision we make. Our strength lies in collaboration, and we want to ensure that this project reflects our shared values. Leora added, I want to emphasize that our corporation is dedicated to building long-term partnerships. We've learned from our past, and our focus now is on transparency and the atmosphere in the community center was charged with a mix of skepticism and hope as the forum continued. Residents leaned forward, their expressions attentive, eager for reassurance, yet wary of the corporation's promises. Alindra took a deep breath, feeling the weight of the moment. It's important for all of us to recognize that partnerships take time to build trust. We're committed to open communication and ongoing dialogue. Another resident, a woman named Eliza, raised her hand. What concrete steps will you take to ensure that our community's needs are prioritized over corporate interests? Leora responded promptly, her voice calm and steady. We're establishing a community oversight committee that will include residents from diverse backgrounds. This committee will meet regularly to discuss project developments and provide feedback. We want to ensure that the community remains at the forefront of our efforts. The room buzzed with murmurs, and Alindra noticed some heads nodding. It was a positive sign, but she knew they still had a long way to go. As the forum progressed, Alindra and Leora took turns addressing questions, detailing the measures they were implementing to ensure transparency and community involvement. They shared success stories from other projects emphasizing the tangible benefits that had emerged when communities engaged actively in decision-making processes. Empowerment is key, Alindra reiterated. This is not just about solar energy. It's about creating a sustainable model for our community's future. We want to co-create solutions that resonate with your needs and aspirations. By the end of the forum, a shift in the atmosphere was palpable. While some concerns remained, many residents expressed a willingness to move forward together. As the meeting concluded, a few attendees approached Alindra and Leora, thanking them for addressing their worries. It was a small but significant victory. In the days that followed, the task force continued its work, focusing on fostering community engagement and reinforcing the message of transparency. They organized additional forums, ensuring that residents had regular opportunities to voice their opinions and stay informed about the project's progress. Alindra felt a renewed sense of purpose as she watched the task force members lead discussions. Each meeting brought forth new ideas and suggestions, and the energy in the room was infectious. However, Alindra also recognized that challenges remained. The corporate media coverage had been a double-edged sword, drawing attention to their project while also amplifying dissenting voices. To counteract the negative narratives,
the task force brainstormed strategies to showcase their progress. They decided to create a video documentary that highlighted the community's journey and the collaborative spirit driving the solar energy project. Marissa, who had experience in video production, eagerly volunteered to lead the project. We can interview residents about their experiences and showcase how this project is impacting their lives. It'll give a personal touch that counters the corporate image. Alindra loved the idea. That's perfect. Let's capture not just the technical aspects, but also the heart of this community. The human stories behind the project will resonate with others. The task force rallied together, collecting footage from community events, interviews, and progress updates. As they pieced together the documentary, Alindra watched the narrative unfold one filled with resilience, hope, and the determination to create a sustainable future. One afternoon, they set up interviews with residents, allowing them to share their thoughts on the project. Clara, who had been an early supporter of the solar initiative, spoke passionately about the changes she had seen in her neighborhood. This project isn't just about energy, it's about pride in our community, she shared. We're taking charge of our future, and that's something to celebrate. As the project came together, Alindra felt a wave of optimism. They were not just documenting a project, they were telling a story of unity and determination. The day of the documentary premiere arrived, and excitement buzzed through the community. The task force organized an event at the community center, inviting residents to come together for a viewing. As the lights dimmed and the video began to play, Alindra felt a mix of anticipation and nervousness. The documentary unfolded, showcasing interviews, progress highlights, and community members sharing their hopes for the future. When it concluded, the room erupted in applause. Residents beamed with pride, and Alindra could see the sense of connection deepening among them. Marissa stood at the front, smiling widely. This is just the beginning. We've shown what we can achieve together, and this story will help counter the negative narratives out there. With the success of the documentary, the task force decided to distribute it online and to local media outlets. They reached out to community influencers, encouraging them to share the documentary and amplify their message. Alindra felt empowered by the response. We need to take control of our narrative. The more people see the positive impact of this project, the harder it will be for dissenters to undermine our efforts. As they shared the documentary, Alindra also organized follow-up forums to discuss community feedback and next steps. The engagement from residents was heartening. People were eager to share their thoughts and ideas, and the momentum was building. However, just as things were starting to take a positive turn, a new challenge emerged. Leora called an emergency meeting with Alindra and the task force, her face drawn with concern. There's been a major shift in the political landscape, she began, her voice steady but urgent. New regulations regarding renewable energy initiatives are being proposed at the state level, and they could impact our project significantly. Alindra felt her heart sink. What kind of regulations are we talking about? They're proposing stricter requirements for solar energy projects, including increased scrutiny on corporate partnerships and more hurdles for community engagement initiatives, Leora explained. If these regulations pass, it could delay our project for months, if not longer. Alindra's mind raced. We need to mobilize our community. If we can demonstrate strong local support, it might influence the decision makers to reconsider these regulations. The task force quickly brainstormed strategies to raise awareness and engage residents in advocacy. They organized a community meeting to discuss the proposed regulations and develop a collective response. At the meeting, Alindra addressed the crowd. This is an important moment for our community. We have the opportunity to make our voices heard and advocate for the future we envision. If we stand together, we can show our local leaders the impact of our solar project and the importance of supporting sustainable initiatives. Residents responded positively, expressing their willingness to participate in advocacy efforts. They discussed ways to engage with local officials, including letter-writing campaigns, public demonstrations, and meetings with decision-makers. 
Over the next few weeks, the task force mobilized the community, organizing letter-writing campaigns and setting up meetings with local officials. They gathered stories from residents about the positive impact of the solar energy project, emphasizing the benefits it brought to their lives. During one of the community gatherings, Alindra was moved by the stories shared. One elderly resident, Mr. Thompson, spoke about how the project had reduced his energy bills and enabled him to stay in his home. I never thought I'd see the day when we could harness the sun to power our lives, he said, his voice trembling with emotion. This project is not just about energy, it's about dignity and hope for the future. The momentum continued to build, and the community rallied around the cause. They organized a public demonstration outside the local government building, sending a clear message of unity and determination. On the day of the demonstration, residents gathered with signs and banners, chanting slogans that highlighted their commitment to renewable energy. Alindra stood at the forefront, feeling a surge of pride as she witnessed the collective strength of her community. Leora joined her, her face filled with determination. This is what it's all about, Alindra. We're showing them that we won't back down. Our community is resilient, and we're ready to fight for our future. Following the demonstration, Alindra and a small group of task force members scheduled a meeting with local officials to discuss their concerns regarding the proposed regulations. They arrived prepared, armed with data, personal stories, and a petition showcasing the overwhelming support from the community. As they entered the meeting room, Alindra felt a mix of nerves and determination. They presented their case, emphasizing the positive impact of the solar energy project and the importance of supporting sustainable initiatives. One official, a stern-looking woman named Councillor Martinez, listened intently. I appreciate your passion, but we have to consider the bigger picture. There are concerns about corporate interests overshadowing community needs. Alindra nodded, understanding the complexity of the situation. We're not just advocating for our project. We're advocating for our community's right to choose a sustainable future. This project was designed with community input, and it prioritizes local needs. We're not here to exploit. We're here to empower. The discussion continued, and Alindra felt the tide shifting. Councillor Martinez began to acknowledge the validity of their concerns, and Alindra seized the opportunity to share the personal stories they had gathered. Mr. Thompson's story is just one example of how this project is making a difference in people's lives, Alindra said, her voice passionate. We have the chance to set a precedent for community-driven renewable energy initiatives. Let's work together too. The sun rose over the community, casting a golden hue across the faces of residents who had gathered at the town square. Today was a day of culmination, a celebration of resilience, unity, and a commitment to a sustainable future. The efforts of the past few months had led to a pivotal moment for the solar energy project, and the atmosphere was electric with anticipation. Alindra stood at the podium, her heart racing as she looked out at the sea of familiar faces, she had watched these individuals transform over the past few months from skeptics to advocates, and it filled her with pride. Leora stood beside her, a reassuring presence as they prepared to address the community. Thank you all for being here today, Alindra began, her voice steady despite the emotions swirling within her. Today is not just a celebration of what we've achieved. It's a testament to what we can accomplish when we come together as a community. Cheers erupted from the crowd, and Alindra felt a rush of energy. She could sense the hope and determination radiating from everyone gathered. The events leading to this moment had been nothing short of a roller coaster. After their successful demonstration and meeting with local officials, the council had agreed to reconsider the proposed regulations. They recognized the overwhelming community support for the solar energy project and the potential benefits it could bring. In the weeks that followed, Alindra and the task force worked tirelessly, engaging with community members, addressing concerns, and ensuring that everyone felt included in the process. The project had been restructured to incorporate even more community input, making it a model for future initiatives. Thanks to your voices, we have turned the tide, Leora added, stepping forward. We've shown that when we stand together, 
we can overcome any challenge. Our project is now on track to move forward with even greater community oversight and involvement. The crowd erupted in applause, and Alindra could see the spark of hope in their eyes. This was more than a project. It was a movement that encapsulated their collective values and aspirations. As the celebration unfolded, various activities filled the town square. Booths showcased local artists, musicians performed, and the aroma of food wafted through the air, creating a festive atmosphere. Children ran about, their laughter mingling with the sounds of celebration. The task force had arranged for several speakers, each of whom shared their personal experiences and perspectives on the solar project. Clara took the stage, her enthusiasm palpable as she recounted her journey from skepticism to advocacy. I'll admit, I was hesitant at first, she began, her voice resonating through the crowd. But seeing our community come together, witnessing the impact of this project on our lives, has changed everything for me. It's not just about energy, it's about empowerment. Alindra felt her heart swell as Clara spoke. Each individual's story added to the tapestry of resilience they had woven together. As the day progressed, Alindra took the time to connect with residents, sharing in their joy and celebrating their victories. The task force had planned a variety of activities that encouraged interaction, fostering an even stronger sense of community. She found herself at a booth where residents were encouraged to write letters to their elected officials, expressing their support for renewable energy initiatives. Alindra watched as families gathered, discussing their thoughts and ideas. This is our chance to make sure our voices are heard, she encouraged, smiling at a young girl who was busy coloring a poster that read, Clean Energy for a Bright Future. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the square, Alindra felt a sense of peace. They had not only fought for their project, they had strengthened the bonds that held their community together. Just as the atmosphere reached a fever pitch, a commotion at the edge of the square drew Alindra's attention. She turned to see a group of unfamiliar faces approaching a mix of local officials and representatives from the Galactic Council. Alindra's heart raced. Had they come to announce more regulations? But as they neared, she could see the expressions on their faces were not of concern but of pride. Councillor Martinez stepped forward, addressing the crowd. I'm here today not just as a representative of the local government, but as someone who has witnessed the incredible strength of this community. Your voices have made an impact, and we are proud to support the Solar Energy Project. The crowd erupted into cheers, and Alindra felt a wave of relief wash over her. The support from local officials and the Galactic Council meant they were on the right track. Martinez continued. The Galactic Council recognizes the importance of local initiatives and the need for collaboration between communities and corporations. We're committed to ensuring that projects like yours serve not only as models for sustainability, but also for community engagement. Alindra exchanged glances with Leora, both women feeling a surge of pride. This was the validation they had sought, a recognition of their hard work and dedication. As the council members engaged with residents, Alindra took a moment to reflect on the journey that had brought them to this point. They had faced opposition, uncertainty, and challenges, but they had emerged stronger and more united than ever. As the evening continued, Alindra took the stage once more, this time with a renewed sense of purpose. Today, we celebrate not just our accomplishments, but also our commitment to the future. This project represents a new chapter for our community, one where we take charge of our destiny. She gestured toward the crowd, her voice ringing with conviction. We must remain vigilant and engaged, ensuring that our voices continue to shape the future of our community. Let us embrace this moment and work together to create a sustainable world for generations to come. The crowd responded with thunderous applause, and Alindra felt a deep sense of fulfillment. They had not only fought for a project, they had ignited a movement. As the celebration began to wind down, Alindra found herself surrounded by friends and family. Leora, Clara, and members of the task force gathered around her, their faces beaming with pride. We did it, Alindra, Clara exclaimed, her eyes shining with excitement. 
This is just the beginning. Absolutely, Leora agreed. We've set a precedent for what community engagement can achieve. This model can inspire other communities to advocate for their futures. Alandra smiled, her heart swelling with gratitude. I couldn't have done this without each and every one of you. Your dedication, passion, and commitment have made this project a reality. In the following weeks, the community continued to build on its momentum. The task force met regularly to discuss next steps, ensuring that they were prepared for the future challenges that might arise. They established a communication channel with local officials, creating a platform for ongoing dialogue and collaboration. The Council had agreed to work closely with the community, facilitating discussions around renewable energy initiatives and their implementation. Alindra felt a sense of purpose as she engaged in these discussions, knowing that they were paving the way for a brighter future. The lessons learned from their journey would serve as a foundation for future projects, and the bonds they had forged would strengthen their resilience. One day, while reflecting on their journey, Alindra received an unexpected call from the Galactic Council. They wanted to arrange a meeting to discuss how the community's efforts could be shared across other planets facing similar challenges. The news was exhilarating. The Council recognized the importance of showcasing their successful model of community-driven sustainability. Alindra felt a surge of pride at the thought of their story, inspiring others beyond their own world. When the meeting day arrived, Alindra stood before council representatives, sharing their experiences, challenges, and triumphs. The Galactic Council members listened attentively, taking notes and asking questions about the community's approach to engagement and collaboration. At the end of the meeting, one of the council members, a wise-looking alien named Zenthra, spoke up. Your community has demonstrated that true progress comes from unity and shared purpose. We wish to promote your model across the galaxy as a beacon of hope for others facing similar struggles. As news of their success spread, Alindra's community became a model for other initiatives across the galaxy. They hosted interplanetary conferences, inviting representatives from different worlds to learn about their approach to sustainability and community engagement. Alindra felt a sense of fulfillment as she witnessed the ripple effect of their efforts. The community that had once been skeptical and divided had transformed into a hub of innovation and collaboration. Through their dedication, they had not only created a successful solar energy project, they had laid the groundwork for a new era of sustainability that transcended borders. As time went on, the community continued to evolve, embracing new technologies and sustainable practices. They worked together to implement additional renewable energy initiatives further solidifying their commitment to a sustainable future. Alindra often reflected on the journey that had brought them to this point. The challenges they had faced had been daunting, but the strength of their community had prevailed. They had proven that even in the face of adversity, unity and determination could create change. On the final day of the celebration, as she stood in the town square surrounded by friends, family, and community members, Alindra felt a sense of peace they had built something extraordinary together, a legacy of resilience, sustainability, and hope. Together, we have not only shaped our future, but also inspired others across the galaxy, she said, her voice 